fans watching around the world. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. It is... Let's get straight into the episode. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we heading for the sun. Shotty got my high, I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping on my stun. Oh, oh. All right, take three. Before we start, I need to say something to you that I say to everyone that comes on, but I would not be saying it if it wasn't true. You're sitting here because I find you interesting. That's because you are an interesting person. I'm very. But I'm just going to make it up as I go because I tried three times by now. I'm very grateful for you coming over and I'm very appreciative of you sitting down. And I'm very lucky to be able to share this experience with everyone else. So. Thank you very much for coming on. And ladies and gentlemen, the man I'm sitting with today, 10 years ago, when I almost 10 years ago, when I first met him, I had a way different opinion on him than I do now. Back then, I remember looking up to him as a bit younger of a person thinking, this is probably the most wild kind I've ever met. <laughs> this guy is so loose. But now when I look at him and even think of him, all I think of is what an amazing dad, you know, what an, what an amazing transformation it's been from the person he was then to the person he is now. And just so everyone knows, this is Aaron Greentree. Yeah, thank you, Docs. Appreciate it, mate. Always here to support the family and friends, mate. So, yeah, thank you for having me out. Oh, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. I don't know why, bro, but I just could not fucking remember the intro. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck? it. What the fuck? All that's, that sleep, mate. <laughs> that's, that's fucking crazy. I can't believe I've done that. Because I used to practice that in my head, like... A hundred times a day. Yeah. Now I've just forgotten it. Bro. That's it. It's not necessary. You're going to have to sit it on the iPad in front of you. Just fucking, yeah. this is what to say. Yeah. Text points. No, oh, that's crazy. All right, let's fucking, let's catch up. It's been ages since we've even seen each other. Yeah, yeah been a little while. I think you see him yeah, maybe once a year now. If yep. that, eh? If that's that. That's it. We'll usually catch up for a smoke and, um, you know, chill out with all the other TAFE boys. Sort yeah. Of thing. Yeah. I love um, doing that too. That's it. It's actually sick. I see it relaxing night, have dinner, have a smoke. Yeah. You see, how often do you see the other boys? Um, the other boys, not really. Joseph, fucking three, four times a week now that we work together. So, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's not too bad. This is the second time you work together? No, nah, first time. First time. Yeah, yeah. So okay. he uh, finally got me to get on board to a big company and have yeah. a better lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you have a better lifestyle, yeah, bro. That's it. You're going to the beach and shit <laughs> midday. <laughs> it's what time is it now? You came over at like eleven o'clock or so, eleven thirty. Yeah. You know, that's working amazing. hard, working hard. Hey, that's amazing. All right, well, look, fill me in a bit more and everyone else who hasn't met you before, but we went together to TAFE together. Yeah, that's it. So we started Kingswood to TAFE together. Yeah. Moved over to Rimba. Um, but yeah, early on, like, we were all fucking young ads at TAFE, just oh, that's... shit talkers, you yeah. know, fucking that's just the doing stupid of it, shit, yeah. yeah. And we had TAFE on a Monday, so yeah. we'd all come to fucking TAFE, no sleep over yeah. the weekend, been partying all fucking weekend. That's it. And then we just, I don't know how to say this, like, not politely, like, but like, we'd just be sharing whatever we had, you know? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Half the day was like, just shit talking about what we did over the weekend, continuing yeah. the weekend on. <laughs> continuing, that's it. You know? Yeah. Finishing the last of the baggies and whatever else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was fucking mad, bro. I loved it. It was, see, I loved Tave. Did you miss Tave? Did you yeah, Tave was fucking the best times. Yeah. Exactly like how everyone else says, like, you know, you'll regret leaving school. Yeah. It's just like Tave. You regret fucking, you know, <laughs> yeah. Tave ending. Yeah. Well, I don't regret yeah. school. Do you, do you miss school? Yeah, yeah school's all right. Fucking, you know, seeing your mates all the time and, you know, not having a care in the world, really. Like, yeah. you go to school and you go home and do whatever else but yeah but you went to public school eh? yeah 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 that's a oh bro i went to a fucking private for the last two years of school yeah oh fuck i, well, I do not miss it at all there's yeah, not a it. part of it i miss bro yeah. but tafe yeah that was it that's yeah, that's top, it. Bro. we're like young adults so yeah. you know we had more freedom and yeah we finally had money yeah that's you know, it. showing off toys and shit to each yeah. other <laughs> yeah it's been dumb guns <laughs> yeah uh what was like life since tafe work um, wise Work-wise, yeah, fucking, I was busy all the time, just working like a dog, really. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, yeah, family life, everything from that. So you know, my partner, us having a child, pretty young. So we started our family when I was like nineteen. Yeah. So you know, all I'm your other thinking, mates, dude, that's crazy. I remember thinking, yeah, that. that's it. I was like Maybe 16, 17, yeah. I remember thinking, that's Yeah, that was like crazy. first year of tape, <laughs> sort of thing, sort of <laughs> like end of tape. I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm going to be a dad, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm always talking about, fuck, you're going to be a dad. Yeah. I remember thinking that was crazy. Like, the biggest fraud coming out of tape, like fucking, <laughs> you, you know, not most, a care in the world. You were the He's most going to be a dad. Yeah. 
It is cool, bud, because we had, like, older lads too, eh? We had, like, fucking yeah. Trev. Trev's a weird cunt now. He doesn't even fucking reply to my messages, eh? Yeah, no, he's fucked. I try, like, every year or so. And then, like, for a beer, he'd be like, yeah, bro, we'll catch up, grab a beer, this, that. And, you know, that you know, that never happens. Yeah, yep. And then now he's just like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to bother anymore. <laughs> it's not going to yeah. happen anyway. That's it. Yeah. No, he was, yeah, he was an odd unit. Yeah, but I like that. It was good having that older role model, especially for me, because I was a bit younger than you. But did you feel like you had, like, it was nice having the older lads in the class? Um, no, nah, not really, to be honest. Like, I, I think because, like, I was in between there. So sort of yeah. thing, like, I thought I was fucking smart enough or yeah, old, you know, enough. old enough yeah, to deal right, with my own yeah. shit rather than yeah, yeah that's yeah. it like you were the young one that we took fucking <laughs> under our wing sort of thing yeah, as well true true because i did feel like that i definitely felt like i was like the the pad one bro like, yeah, I, was the fucking, look, I literally had to look up at every guy yeah you know? <laughs> yeah yeah it was cool but yeah so when you how long did you, have you stayed at like say x companies you've worked for um my last company i was there for fucking like eight years sort eight of years. thing so like i had other jobs in between but like they were never permanent like yeah might have been at a company for two months or a month but yeah. went back to the original company anyway yeah so and that's not the same company that from daff when he got you the job no no that was so just one I'll, of those filling jobs yeah that's it so i was there for like three months with his company and yeah they went a bit how you going so <laughs> yeah, yeah it always does eh? yeah went back from there <laughs> yeah yeah and then now the first time you've gone to a big company yeah that's your first big company so yeah. like i'm just a number now yeah i'm yeah, not yeah. like yeah, yeah this person i'm fucking one two three four five so, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know yeah i got a lot of uh freedom yeah and, you know doing my own shit which is good yeah that's sick let me just quickly tell you if that red light goes off let me know yeah i'll watch that one i'm just i'm always paranoid bro because yeah no, i get fucked up. up all the time yeah <laughs> i mean if I'm gonna gonna watching the one with intro. Drew, and then you were saying like you know three hours of fucking podcast and you're like oh Fucking cameras <laughs> off, gotta redo it all. And it's just not natural again. <laughs> it's happened so many times too. In the beginning days, the boys would come for like fourth take, fifth yeah. take. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's bug. But yeah, when you say you're just a number now, I kind of get it because like it's like I'm not really like that at my company to an extent, but if like if something needs to get fucking chopped out, like I'm one of those numbers now that can get chopped out, even though you still kind of have that relationship with the owner. Yep. He tries, you know what I mean, but it's too, too, it's getting too big for him. Yep. So by the time news gets back to him, it's like six people have had to tell him. Yep. It's like Chinese whispers anyway. But do you like the fact that you're just a number? Because I see the I see benefits in being a number. Yeah, that's it. No, it is great. Like I just get my jobs for like the months. They give me all my hours, and they say, "Here's your run. Do it when you want." and no get it way. sorted yeah so for the month <clears throat> yeah that's it so you know we might get 120 hours for the month and then we have to make doing charges or find jobs to do for the other hours yeah but like sometimes like my manager i haven't spoke to that guy in like fucking two weeks or something <laughs> he'll call me up and be like man i haven't spoken to you in ages like what's going on how are you yeah. and i'm just like yeah good man i'm just fucking working away at the beach bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. see i'm busy fucking yeah. get a drill out of the bag while i'm at the beach yeah but yeah so no that's it's good it. yeah so fucking yeah. so how did, so like do you find that it's like you have to really try to make the time to be able to fit personal shit in or is it pretty cruisy no no yeah real cruisy sort of thing like you know like i said all the jobs that i have i can start at like 10 o'clock in the morning if I wanted to, and then yeah. work a bit later. Yeah. I can do weekend work if I wanted to. So, you know, if a job's four hours, then I just cut the time down for penalty rates and whatever, but I can do that on the weekend. So yeah. there's no stopping me. It's just, yeah, yeah you know, yeah. you do what you do. So as long as you get the quoted, maintenance done. Eh? Yeah. Quoted. Yeah, yeah. So if it's like a maintenance job, then, you know, you have four hours allowed for that maintenance. Mm -hmm. So then obviously, yeah, if it's like time and a half penalties, you got to cut out. You know, like a three-hour maintenance down to two hours or something like that. But, yeah. you know, it is what it is. Yeah, me. that's cool. That's a lot of responsibility, mm. too. It's a responsibility to be, like, courteous, courteous of your company and yep. like not fucking just rate the system. Yeah, that's it. But what I see it as well is it's training for you to do your own thing as well. Yeah. Because, like, I'm running my own show in this company. Mm -hmm. So booking the jobs and raising jobs and whatever else and ordering parts. So, you know, you get prepared for if you're ever going to go out on your own. Mm -hmm. which is good sort of thing so yeah that's he's cool do you do your own jobs yeah yeah so i've, I've got my own company as well sort yeah. of thing so i do my own side stuff is it full, through like that abn and that? yeah abn everything yeah, like that wow. so um got a couple of contracts for my own sort of gig but um i'll never do that full time like you know yeah. I, I don't see 
me ever trying to get big enough to fight everyone for a dollar yeah. for a job sort of yeah. thing. Like, unfortunately, these days, Asians are raping us. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck me. Like, you go do abducted yeah. and you tell them, like, it's going to be five and a half grand and you're making a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. They're like, oh, they said they can do it for five. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, oh, well, if I can get them to do it, then yeah, call, me, call even, me when there's problems. No, I don't even, even hold back. I'm like... 11 grand like yeah. let me know if you want it like That's i'm gonna give a fuck yeah i won't even go look at the roof space or nothing like yep. it's just not worth the fucking effort eh? yeah that's it yeah so um, but, but i found that i've bro, i'm trying to have my own business going on the side as well i left old company to work for myself yep because i had like fucking enough subby work for people and then just that uh, word of mouth's just been going pretty good for ducted splitties breakdowns shit like that even a little cool room or something yep but I'm just doing it all like just ske- sketchy. But I haven't got ABN yet. I'm fucking. I'm charging GST. And I'm just fucking cheap. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, like I'll just say the job's fucking thirteen hundred. I'll be like, yeah, look, we can do it for fucking fifteen fifty, or you know, we can do it for cash for like fucking twelve twelve fifty. You know? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, we'll do it for fucking whatever I said, fucking fifteen fifty, and yeah. then I'll add GST again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think I, I think it's like it's not too bad because I'm pretty sure I can earn like seventy grand before I can fucking have to pay tax. I yep. just have to like back when I do the ABN, I'll just quickly back pay it. For yeah, like twelve it. months. Yeah. So I don't think it's too bad, but I don't have that much work like to, yeah. to give a fuck. I see. I think all you have to do is like at the end of the financial year, you just have to say that that's earnings. Yeah. So even if you didn't charge the GST on shit, you just say, oh well, I earned. Fucking, yeah. you know, ten thousand dollars from that, but I paid eight thousand dollars in materials. Oh, so I should keep all those material slips. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that's like what. Because otherwise, they see that as your earnings, and you're spending it on like personal shit. Yeah. So if you're going yeah. out buying a car for ten grand, yeah, like that's yeah, a personal yeah. thing rather than like being a work sort yeah. of purchase. Okay, yeah. Because I have been keeping the slips and shit, all the actrons, all the fucking this and that. And it's like, what am I doing this for? I just, yeah. I just keep it. Yep. So that's good to know. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Because they will fucking, they will fuck, they will fuck me, eh? Yeah, that's it. Like, <laughs> they will fucking come after you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, yeah. even um Joey, like, fucking, he's got his per, uh, work car sort of thing. It's his personal car that is the work car. Mm-hmm. And he forgot to do his tax return, including the car, for um uh, the value of the car going down, depreciation and all that shit. Yeah. And he tried to get his money back for that, like, to um, claim on it. They fucking audited him for three years worth of shit. He had to give him, like, every receipt possible that he had. Oh. Go through, like, everything, like, all the kilometres he's driven, oh. fucking receipts and shit. So, like, he Is had he to, all right? Yeah, 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 he got it all yeah, in the yeah, end. Like, so he had his shit. He all had all his shit together. But oh, if they're coming after you, <laughs> like, they want everything. Otherwise, you owe them money. I'd be fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be fucked. I've never even owned a car, bro, and I've claimed that much fucking time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah well oh well it's good to know but why do you ever want to do it full time is it just because you think it's too neck cutthroat um it's just easier working with someone else yeah to be honest. Like, i can do my jobs on the side yeah. like i'm never really that busy enough that i can sort of justify to say oh you know i need time off work to do my own jobs yeah so fucking you know i'd rather work for someone else and they pay for my car, they pay for fuel, tolls, insurances, oh, and I'll just do my own yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, it's so, right. you, know, you use a work car for fucking your own jobs. Yeah, so, you know. yeah it's actually the best. That's it. Yeah, I think that too. I, 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 it was fun working, like, because I think I did, like, probably six, seven weeks maybe by myself. Yep. And that was when I just started doing the podcast too, so I could, like, fucking freak the fuck out for fucking three days straight. What the fuck? How do I do this? And then just, like do one little job on a fucking Saturday morning yep. and then I'm paid for the week. Yeah, that's it's like it. the same money I'd be getting yep. anyway. And then I could just fucking relax for five, six days again and just fucking pump out a couple episodes. Yep. But then when I got this gig saying night shift, I was like, oh, bros, how fucking good's that? <laughs> you can't pass that up. <laughs> yeah, good's night shift. Would you ever go nights? It'd be different having yeah, guest kids. I, yeah, I think having kids sort of thing is a bit different. Like um, Sky, like she's in school. And then Ali's like at home with Tia for two days, and then how old is Ali? Uh, she's nearly two now. Wow! So end of March she turns two. Wow. So it feels like fucking Skyler was just two for me. How does yeah. it feel for you? No, oh, fuck no! It's like it, it just flew by. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Like, like I said, first crazy? year of tape. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked. Like <laughs> she's nearly seven, sort of thing. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> what? Well, she's about to be fucking high school. Yeah. Isn't it? 
Well, oh, yeah, you just blink and they fucking end up a year of school's gone and yeah, you know, everything else. Yeah, I fuck. I do want to get to having kids in a minute because some of my mates are starting to have kids now, but they're like baby, baby. Yeah. So I don't really know anyone that has like toddlers and fucking yeah, yeah. primary school kids and shit. But before that, when you what type of work are you doing at this new company compared to what you're doing at the last last company? Uh, last company I did like pool heating mostly, which is like most of our work, and then commercial stuff. Was it all like 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 leisure center type shit? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Big like, shit. Yep. Not like yeah, people's camp, houses. Yeah, nah. Well, I did domestic houses and stuff as well, um, like heat pumps. But then, like, yeah, big commercial stuff, boilers, heat exchangers, that all that sort of shit. Which you never learn that shit at Tate. No, no. I sort of thing. Really so it was style. like so mad to learn all of that stuff. So I get a broad variety of everything. Like yeah. even like mechanical pumps and shit like that for like water pumps. Like I know how to rebuild all of them. Yeah, mad. Just from working at this company. So. That's cool. It was a mad learning curve, um, a lot different to just, you know, bashing splitties and ducteds like half the boys did at yeah. our TAFE. Yeah. So um, it was good. Yeah. You I know. think everyone's kind of transitioned out of that, don't you think? Um, at least all the boss. Like, yeah, that's maybe I think there's still the fucking, a few, yeah. A couple of the fucking bigger boys over there. Yeah, that's it. Fucking was that Norman <laughs> cunt. Norman. Yeah, that <laughs> fucking cunt. Yeah. Shout out to Norman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know you're watching, but... <laughs> He <laughs> might be dead, we don't know. Oh, you know he's right. Yeah, Danny killed someone. It's one of the two. He killed someone. It was either him or someone else. Yeah. yeah. He was a murderer. If he was in America, he'd be one of the fucking school students, <laughs> unfortunately. Bro, did I ever tell you the time when he came up to me? And he's like, I was talking about how I knew this fucking kitty touch up and i was like this no i didn't know the kitty cat touch up i knew like a, a girl i dated was fucking what do you call it abuse Mess with something, yeah yeah and then i'm just like yeah fuck bro someone should just kill that clown eh? like, then bro he came up to me like a couple of hours later he's like hey man i'll kill someone for you i'm like what are you talking about and he's like oh like i don't really i don't really give a fuck what happens in my life if you want me just just tell me and i, I don't care who it is i'll just kill him i'm just like Right, that's a good thing I'm nice to this yeah. kid, eh? <laughs> Bro, if I had said you... Yeah. Like, like I would have been out. fucking gone that day. <laughs> Lights out. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck, they can't. Oh, man. But, like, fuck. Uh, I, I just missed TAFE, bro. I, mean, I had to go there recently, actually, to do the fucking... I think my transcript. Do you have a contractor's license? Yeah. Oh, bro, I don't have it yet. You don't? No, nah, I've Do you have trying. a supervisor's license? No, nah, that's, actually, that's the one I'm going for. Oh, yeah. But you need month your process so yeah. far. Yeah. They fucking finally approved it like fucking... No, they've been in the process for this whole time and then they messaged me back like, you got to get your fucking correct tape work. And I'm like, fuck's sake. So I just went there, asked them for it again, came back, printed it out. It looked the exact same. Yeah. I sent them the same thing. And then within one day, they're like, yeah, no, nah, we're denying your process. You have four days to fucking fill in the renewal form or you're never getting your money back. I, was, I paid a thousand bucks for this supervisor. Yeah. Thing. I'm like, get yeah, fucks. I'm calling them. Call, no one's answering me. They're like, wait, fucking. I waited the RTA on the phone. They're like, all right, we'll transfer you to the licensing company. I wait on the phone. And they're like, yeah, sorry, we're closed. You have to call between Tuesday and Thursday from nine to 11. And I'm like, get yeah, fuck. This is fucking killing me. So I'm just like, going nuts eventually this guy's like yeah the only way to get in contact is via email i'm like yeah bro they're not fucking replying yeah that's it if you got four days and then somehow bro i just he told me to send the right message with the right wording and then they're like with you had had, i mentioned like fucking what's that thing that they do like um not the ombudsman not fair trading what's the other thing when they can like get your money back or they can like open up a court case type thing it's called a Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically like a system that you send the government to and they'll like fucking renew it. They'll like, yeah. they'll, they'll double check everything, review it. And then they replied to me like, all right, you're approved. So now I'm, now I'm like a day away or two days away from getting my fucking contract. Yeah. It's been a journey, bro. It's been a fucking journey. Yeah, that's it. I was the same when um I left TAFE. Um, I got finished up. Like I did fucking re-get all my transcripts for when my license like expired. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, you need all your transcripts again. I'm like, cunt, I fucking had my license, yeah. you know, a couple months ago. <laughs> and I just, you know, forgot about it. It expired. Yeah. You know, what's the difference? They're like, oh, no, you need your transcripts. I have to go to fucking TAFE, pay like $60 for them just to print off the oh. piece of paper that I already had. Yeah. But it just needs to have the fucking stamp on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And you're just like, fuck, it's fake. Fuck, eh? Yeah. But even like an RHL, that fucking license, I haven't got that. I haven't even had that before. And the ARC Newcom- license? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Bro, the new company is like, take me up. Remember, Tafe, you used to just write down any fucking number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just a joke, bro. I just don't see the point. I'm not, I'm not buying this game, bro. Yeah. Anyway, my new company's, like, hitting me up for all this shit. I'm like, yeah, fine. I'll fucking sort it out. Fuck, I've been there for, like, six months, bro. I still haven't got any of the shit. The RHL thing I paid for, I think I have to have my license for that, like, my supervisor's license. Is that true? Uh, yeah, it depends if you go on that type of license. So you can go, like, apprentice and, uh, like, trade assist license. But it doesn't give you like access to carry your own refrigerant, yeah. whereas you need to have like yeah. supervisors for that. Yeah, that's why I fuck this. This thing's about to expire until I get the contractor's license. Yeah. Right. One day I had to go spend two grand. I because I didn't fucking did have my license either. I had to go get a driver's license. I had to go get a fucking refrigerant handling. I had to get a contractor's or supervisors forklift. They wanted that. They wanted my fucking everything renewed. Fuck! Can't two grand later. I'm like, yeah, someone's getting the bill for this, bro. Yeah, <laughs> this is fucked. Since I've sent him a driver's license, as he's... And then fucking picks me up on my driver's license. But yeah, I fucking just got my fools this year, too. It's been a long journey for yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. 24, bro. That's it. It's been a long journey for that. Not, what is it, four years ago you should have had it? Oh, I fucking got my license, yeah, 17. So yeah, I don't even know what age meant. What age do people get their things? Like twenty, you yeah. got it. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a clue. Yeah, but yeah, fuck, I'm going there. I think I'm. I think I'm starting to get my fucking two feet where they should be. That's it. Yeah, it's been a long road. You are getting the licenses, so you're halfway there. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got the skills. That's the problem, bro. Like, you, you know, skills don't mean shit. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Like you know that license, I will never fucking get that out. You you pay for it, and then that's it. Yeah, bro. Like, no fuck? one ever asks for it. You go to act on it and ask for your license or anything like that. I think yeah. it's only if you have to get audited or whatever, but... Yeah. Fucking, yeah. I don't ever hear of that happening unless yeah. you're a fucking dumb gun. Yeah. And, bro, if they wanted, I'm pretty sure we could get fucked anyway because we only have a disconnect, reconnect. Is that... Can you get fucked if you fucking run a cable? Uh, like, I know it's like people say you just do it. It's part of the trade, but if, if they wanted, couldn't we get fucked for that? Yeah, but that's not under Arctic sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, that's yeah. like for insurances and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I mean. But yeah, so that's just a fucking whole different thing. You can replace the cable Yeah. sort of thing, like for like, but yeah, you can't add a new cable from a switchboard to a thing. Yeah, you can't even do a loop. You can't do shit all way. So, it's so like, we're allowed to add cable like from our indoor to outdoor. You're allowed to do that because that. that's fine because that's a part of the appliance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. it's from, yeah, the mains to the unit. That's yeah. a bit sparky. Oh, so, so we can run that and if a sparky signs it off, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Sort of thing because he's the one, you know, signing off on the works completed. Yeah. But, yeah. You know. See, that's what I mean. It's like I'll, I could bother trying, but, like, it's just too hard, can't like, yeah. fuck, I'm going to get fucked if they want to fuck me. <laughs> that's it. But so. like I said, if you just if you have a sparky mate sort of thing, just get him to sign off on it. And even if you ask for 50 bucks and, yeah. and sign off, give yeah, you a tax receipt. The job, yeah, that's it. the job. Then add GST on top yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 50 bucks is now 500 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll start, I'll start doing that. It's a good that's idea. It. It's a good idea. What Just about your new ass. company? What are you doing in the new company? So you're doing fucking heat pumps and shit? Yeah, yeah. So this new company I'm doing just like commercial um, sort of air conditioning, really, like package units. Um, yeah, pretty much that, to be honest. Fuck yeah. Heat of ice. But I'm doing also like fire stuff now. Yeah, that's cool. So I test um, fire extinguishers, emergency exit lights, that sort of shit. Oh, I didn't know that to that extent. Yeah, yeah. I just meant like extraction fire. No, no. No, yeah. even, yeah, like, um, Smokies and, yeah, fucking Fuck yeah. extinguishers and shit, so that's pretty good. Fucking at my house now, I've got, like, five fire extinguishers around the house, so <laughs> anything goes wrong, fucking put something out. <laughs> Firefighter, bro. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. Do you, do you need to have, like, a license or something to do any of that with a ticket? Um, no, nah, they, they sign off on us. Like, they'll give us training mm-hmm. for what to check and everything, but then we have an assessor, so, like, we'll do the checks. Yeah. And do all the testing, but then an assessor goes out to confirm what our sort of readings were and what a confirm. Cunt. Yeah. That cunt should just do it. That's it. What so a that's just what it is. That cunt's that. got. And that bloke's like in our team as well. Yeah. So like we'll go do three hours on that job, and then this cunt gets four hours to <laughs> sign off on what we've already done. So I'm just like, fuck, I need that. Yeah. But bro. that's a whole different process. Like. He's the one signing off that we've done our job correctly. Yeah. yeah. So, like, that building burns down and that smoky wasn't working or that fire hydrant. Yeah. And he signed off on it. And yeah. 
Fucking yeah. So that's on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of responsibility there. So I was just like, eh. Yeah, it'd be too hard to just be like, yeah, I'm sure they've done it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you want to yeah, double check, I guess. Yeah. So do you have to do like installs and replacements and shit like that? Like, yeah, yeah, we do that sort of thing. So, stuff. you know, if we find a light that's out, then yeah, it can raise a job and replace it, yeah. test it. So Even lights good. and shit. Oh, yeah. like for the emergency. emergency exit lights, yeah. So, yeah. Like for walkways, so they're like Spitfires, and then like the Green Man running lights, I yeah. can replace them. Yeah, yeah, that's sick. I find that like, do you find there was like a different animal to get into like a big company to try and tame? Like it's like everything's a bit more safety involved. Yeah, yeah, like... safety is a massive thing in this company. Like, yeah, my last company, I had shirt, shorts, and vans. <laughs> yeah. That was my work uniform, like sort of thing. Like, yeah. no fucking <laughs> boots or nothing. This is long sleeve shirt. Long pants, yeah. work boots. Gloves, fucking, if we gloves. Nah, no oh, gloves. Bro, sort of we have to do hard hat, gloves, glasses. Yeah, nah, fuck, fuck that. It's nice. It's nice. We can't have flick knives. We have to We have to carry three gloves. Standard gloves, working gloves, and cut-proof gloves. Every time you pull a knife out, you have to change gloves. Like, yeah. fuck. <laughs> He's kind of took a photo of me the other day. He's just like, oh, you got your... He's a safety auditor. When the safety auditor comes, everyone just has to stop working. Like, it, yep. it's so, it just ruins my night too. Cause, like, I'll, I get in the zone when I go to work. I'm fuck, I'll pump like three coffees, I have like six shots, and then I'll just fucking work until I need more energy and I'll just fucking pump another one. Yep. Anyway, when the safety auditor comes, then we have to just, three cunts just have to stand there and watch one of the lads just put stickers on or just like do something very safe, barricades and all yep. this shit. One person has to be spotted and just look, hey, mate, just be careful when you come in this way. It's a fucking massive joke. <clears throat> anyway, this cunt's just, like, hanging around for hours and hours, and I lost my motivation. And he sees me, and he's like, oh, you got your fucking safety gear. And I'm like, yeah, obviously I have my safety gear. And he's like, do you mind if I take a photo of you? And I don't, I'm like, either A, he's like, look at this fucking spastic looking cunt as if he's got his safety gear on like let's take a photo of him this yep. is surprising or b i've done something wrong and he's gonna fuck me <laughs> bro. he's using you <laughs> yeah yeah i'll just take this photo fucking get an email later fucking deny right. access next thing's gonna be shit sh- sh- sight shut <laughs> fucking blame this cunt yeah yeah but yeah it's fucking crazy i kind of like it but i do like the i like the the change of fucking wearing correct uniform and shit yeah. i feel more professional yeah that's it that, i feel that sort of too sort of thing like you know um and that part yeah fucking i liked the freedom before like fucking comfortable working like yeah i would wear shorts and a shirt during winter yeah yeah sort but, of thing. Uh, oh and still i wouldn't wear a shirt bro. yeah i just fucking wear what i just wear shorts yeah and that'd be my uniform yeah <laughs> shorts and boots Boots unzipped, like I'm tripping over shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The safety shoes, boots are fucking worse. My shoes are falling off. Yeah, I'm like fuck it, kick them both off. I work in my socks. Yeah, for a that's bit. it. Climbing up in the roof. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm glad that we have this new system. I haven't been hurt yet. I used to get hurt fucking every week, bro. Yeah, just falling off some this and that. You heard about that company that fucking fell through the roof? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ain't none of that shit happen anymore. Yeah, fuck. What about outside of work? So you had your fucking first daughter pretty young. Yep. Did you want to have... Do you reckon you're going to keep trying to have a boy? Um, I don't want to risk it, to be honest. You don't want to risk no, it? No, I've got the Fridges curse. <laughs> yeah. not even too much fucking R22. So <laughs> I only thing? have girls. Yeah, Is apparently. Yeah, yeah. So like, I know a lot of right. people that have only had fucking girls. Oh, shit. Sort of thing. I never so, heard like, of that one. Yeah, Fridges curse, mate. I reckon I'm going to have a boy first, eh? Yeah. I reckon I do. Depends how much R22 you sniffed, all that posidine, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit. No, I used to cop that back in the day, <laughs> man, I tell you. Bro, you get, you get, you're like a champion, bro. You're like, I had tears running down my face, <laughs> bro, Weldon. Eyes are white as fuck because you can't see. Yep. There's so much smoke. You're going to take like half an hour after you finish just to fucking get your breath back. I have a fucking puff on me vape after a posidine attack, bro, and it's like, bro, I should be going last, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. I didn't even know that was a fucking Fridges curse. That's fuck. I didn't know that. Yeah, Maybe, yeah. I'm not gonna change. I've always I've always guessed what kid someone's gonna have. I'm a hundred percent success rate. Yeah. So if I, if this curse is a real thing, it'll, we'll find out. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So, but um, yeah, look, I'm I'm pretty comfortable having two sort of thing. Like everywhere you go, a family pack is like two adults, two kids. Oh yeah. And I find that if you have the three, like I was one of three children, sort of thing. I was a middle sort of boy. Mm-hmm. One child's always sort of left out in between. If their ages aren't too similar sort of thing, then, yeah, one's always sort of odd out. Like, if you go on a ride, like a roller coaster, you seat two sort of thing and then one in the back, so one's sort of apart from the group. Yeah. 
So, you know, I'm pretty happy with two. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good idea, actually. I never so, thought yeah. about that. That's it. Because I, I do find that even, I'm a, I'm a child of three as well. There's always going to be one that's left out in every every scenario. Yeah. But what if you have more than three? Do you reckon if you had four, then you'd have fucking the same thing? Um. Yeah, fucking... Don't want to have four. <laughs> no, I, I think two's enough. <laughs> yeah, nah. Once you have a kid, you'll realise <laughs> minimal is great. Nah, oh, I don't know, bro. So, I'm locking in six. For, yeah. for starters, for starters. Right? <laughs> Sound like my sister. She was the exact same. She was like, yeah, fucking you know, eight kids. And then, oh, that's a mad You know, you have two kids, and then she's like, oh, yeah, maybe four. And then <laughs> like, fuck that, two's good. <laughs> oh, well, that's sick, they fucking bro. drain you, mate, I tell eight. you. I never thought of eight. Eight would be a mission. Eight would be what? Yeah. Six is crazy, but eight, that's fuck. Yeah, that's it. You have to get a fucking spastic bus. <laughs> <laughs> driving around to a high, like, a high ace thing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bench row seats in the back. And, bro, bro, I guess if you have eight, statistically, one's probably going to be a spastic eight. <laughs> one will. It's a good chance. Yeah. It'll be that one fucking clean spot on the window. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I just think if I have six, like, there's just a chance to have every type of kid. Like, I could have a gay, I could have a leso, I could have one of those fucking, what do they call them now, fucking non-binary. Oh, man. Bro, fucking... there could be all sorts of fucking carry-on. It won't matter because I'll still have the fucking friggy. <laughs> I'll still have the fucking That's doctor. It. At least two will be normal. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fucking playing, playing the odds, bro. That's all I'm doing. That's it. But yeah, so was it fucking stressful in the beginning, having the kid? Like, how was the whole arrangement um, in the beginning? Yeah, it wasn't too bad sort of thing. Like, um, we were renting a small little granny flat back in Lisbon Park. Um, oh, not, man, that, that was a cool place, bro. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. To fucking Subi looked good out the front. Yeah, that's it. Good yeah. little spot there. wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, look, fucking, you know, it's not like we're living week to week per se. Like, you know, had a bit of money sort of thing. But, fucking, you know, and, and we weren't that, the most how comfortable. Work? Because she wasn't working when the baby was out. Yeah, that's it. So she did get, like, the maternity leave sort of thing from her work. Yeah. Um, and then after that, um, she went back to work pretty much straight after maternity finished mm. sort of thing. And, um, she went part time at a company and, um, you know, fucking we we're living comfortably sort yeah. of thing. You know, we weren't fucking poor, you know, we'd still get to go out to dinner and everything else that we wanted to do. Yeah. But you were a fucking apprentice, bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. I was still an apprentice back then. So, and so you wouldn't have been making more. Like, I know you had a good arrangement, but you wouldn't have been taking more than, what, 800 bucks after tax? Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah. yeah. So, like, a lot of... I, maybe some advice would be good, because a lot of people I know, they're renting, and they might have a smaller place that doesn't cost so much, and even though the guy and girl are fucking both working, and there's no kid yet, but people are still living week to week. Yeah. So, like, how do you reckon that you went, be able to still pay for necessities that were more than most people, and still have money to continue to save up? Um... I don't know, man. It's, it's literally just like you have to get in the mindset of figuring out like what you've got to lose to what you want sort of thing. So like, like sacrifice. Yeah, that's it. So like even now, um, me and the missus, we're supposed to be getting married um, in September. Oh, yeah. Sort of thing. And I didn't know you were engaged actually. Yeah, fucking we've wow. been engaged for like four years. Yeah, I didn't know. Sort of thing. So she's been kicking my ass to fucking finally, <laughs> you know, tie the knot or whatever. I'm like, man, that's just a fucking day to me. Yeah, yeah. So about like... um. Now, like, my car, I wanted to do so much more to my car, like, dump fucking 10 grand into that. Yeah. But I'm just like, I don't really need to. Like, I can drive it as is, enjoy it Mm -hmm. somewhat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, so, you know, that's the sacrifice that you make to put towards the wedding. Yeah. Like, had a little CRF 110, I'd ride it heaps at the beginning and then I stopped riding it as much. So I'm just like, fuck it, I'll sell that and then I can just dump that money into the wedding fund. Yeah. So then, you know, we can have a better day. Yeah. So it's just like the little sacrifices you make. Yeah. Instead of going out to dinner every night and getting takeaway and shit, you know, meal prep. Yeah. You, know, you spend 120 bucks and you get all your meals for the week rather yeah. than spending 80 bucks on one night's dinner. Yeah. And, you know, maybe having leftovers. And you still have, like, the freedom if you like, like, how, how tight did you have to be? Do you still have the freedom to be like, even though I bring lunch today, it's like, fuck, I need a fucking mad chicken burger. Like, or do you, are you just, like, strict on it? Like, nah. No, no. Our fucking goal. no, you can still sort of be there sort of every now and then. Like, you know, if you have, like, your little kitty. So, like, I have my big bank account that's got all the money in it, and then I'll have, like, a little spending account. So, I might put, you know, 150 bucks in there a week sort of thing, and then if I spend it, you know, spend it. If not, then, you know, you continue that on to next week. So, then and there's... Like, later. Yeah, that's it. So, then... Yeah. No, but, like, even still, if you don't spend that 150 
the next week you don't have to put money back in there again. Oh, you just top so it then, up. Yeah, so then, you know, you just fucking, you're like, okay, well, I don't need to put 150 in there, so then you're saving that 150 again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so it's just more savings. Yeah, that's I never it. thought of that. I never yeah. even thought of that. So, yeah, like, you have, like, like, a little yeah. spending account, so you say, well, I've only got 150 bucks for the week to spend on shit yeah. that you don't need, but you might want. Yeah. And then, you know, you keep that fucking going, so then you're just like, oh, well, mm. you've saved an extra 150 each week. And then I guess if you want a toy, then then you start sacrificing the spendings. That's it. So yeah. you know you don't put that one fifty to the kitty just to fucking buy a chicken burger. Yeah. Yeah. You know you wait a couple of weeks, sort of thing, and you can put it towards something. Yeah. So I I do that a bit. Like you know if I want something, so if I need tires for my car, sort of thing. You know it's fucking like four hundred dollars a tire. So oh, you're like man. okay, well, Fuck. six weeks time I'll get enough money for fucking you know yeah. the four tires, and yeah. then you know you slap it on the car. Fuck, that's heaps. Come on, four hundred bucks a tire. Is that normal? Uh, I don't even know. No, no, it's like I'm getting like semi slick decent tires. Oh, okay, sort of thing. So, drift tires. No, <laughs> no, they were the old ones. They were fucking like stupid money too. They were like three hundred sixty a tire oh, that you wow. go killing fucking you know half a day. <laughs> yeah, uh, dumb money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool money. Like, um, I don't like talking about money on here, but I may as well. It is fucking the docs car. So I gotta be. That's fucking, it. Gotta, gotta be, be real open about it. Yeah. yeah. But I've never had money ever. I've just lived paycheck to paycheck without bills. I've just yep. been spending. Like, I love fucking... I just love buying shit. It was sick. Especially when I was fucking on the drugs and this and that. Oh, my... It was just so good, bro. I could just get as fucked up as I wanted. There was yep. never any limit. And, but now, it's like I've decided save everything. Don't spend anything. So, now the only thing I buy would be, like, um, food yep. and vapes, pretty much. Yeah, right. Like, or I'll have like I hosted a dinner the other night, dumped fucking five hundred bucks on that. But yep. I ain't been spending shit. It's been yep. it's been good, and I'm working as much as I can. I'm trying to save because I need to do start doing something. Because yep. fuck twenty four now, I've gotten literally nothing. I don't even own a car. Yeah. So it's about time. But now that I have got money saved up, I'm trying to decide what to do with it. And it's been easy because it's just been like, don't spend money, can't afford, don't pretend you haven't got it. Yep. But now it's like I need to know like. I'm at the stage now where it's like, do I invest it in this? Do I buy this? Do I fucking... Even things like salary sacrifice. I'm trying to do something with my super now. And it's like all these little things that now I'm actually stressed having money. Yep. Not having money is kind of just as stressful as having money because yep. now it's like, now that I have it, I have the option to I have the opportunity to make more. Yeah, that's and, it. You're, just, you're trying to figure out what to invest in. Yeah. Sort of things like what's going to benefit your future the most. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and to be honest, I can't, I'm actually going to see a finance advisor hopefully this week because I need someone to tell me this is how much you can spend, this is how much you can save. But like, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to be like, this is your salary. Pretend you have this much to spend. Yep. Put 85 90% into these different things. Yep. Whether it's fucking mortgage, little savings account, fucking bills, whatever. And then this is your overtime. This is what percent of your overtime you can spend. This is what percent you should do with your overtime, this and that. Because yep. it's too, conf- it's fucking stressful, bro. Like, the future is so big for me. And I want to fuck, I want to start, I want to start now. Yeah. But it's good that you just had that insight in the beginning. Like, this is what we're going to do. Because I'm kind of like getting ahead of story, but let's go back to, you're not living in that rental anymore at Erskine Park. Yep. Um, so, like... Still, uh, we rented, like, another two places, I think, after that. So we moved to a bigger house sort of thing. We moved um, from Erskine Park to Currensville, which is, like, Norellan. My partner had a job out that way, and it was closer to my work as and well. how old was uh, the first baby at that time? Um, Skylar was maybe two, I two. think, by then, sort of thing. So, like, our first little rental were in for, like, nearly two years. Yeah. Sort of thing, and then yeah, moved to the second house, and then third house after that, still in the Rowland area. And then, um, <clears throat> we sort of just decided to like, fuck, you know, we're gonna have to get a house now, sort of thing. So, um, I was able to move back to my parents' house, I had a granny flat out the back, so we fixed that up, sort of thing, neatened it up, painted, did the kitchen, laundry, bathroom, nice. all that shit. Um, and we stayed in there for total two years. And saved up enough money for a deposit on a house, sort wow. of thing. So I built brand new house, block of land. Oh fuck! So just two years of saving, you're able to fucking buy a block and build. Yep. Wow. So that's like the money that we were spending on rent, sort of thing. It's like five hundred a week. Yeah. So we already knew that's five hundred a week that we could put away into savings, and then we're well, fortunate enough where my parents live. It's sort of out rural. There's no Macca's takeaway and shit like that. So we were always cooking. 
Yeah. So we buy our groceries for the week and we don't go out and get Maccas and pizza and all that other shit, yeah. wasting money. Yeah. We fucking, you know, had a strict budget so yeah. we could smash savings. So, like, in a year's time we had, like, 80 grand saved up. So then, bang, that's on the fucking house straight away. Wow. So then put the deposit down and then the house took, like, the year sort of thing to um, get all finalised, built, and then, yeah, we're in. Mm-hmm. So and I'm, then, like, the same amount of money you're putting aside for the deposit, are you putting that same amount of money into the mortgage or, like, things that have to get done for the house? Um, so, just the same process, yeah. just different. You're putting your money somewhere else? Yeah, that's it. So, I was just sort of, yeah, it's going elsewhere, really. So, we were saving the exact same amount for savings as what, like, the payments were at the time sort of thing. Like, back then, payments were fucking pretty cheap. Like, I think we were paying 640 a week on the mortgage. Yeah. And then now fucking inflation, like everyone will tell you, and fucking interest rises. It's another, I think it's gone up by another $360 well, a week. Well, hell. So then you're just thinking like, fuck, you know, you're at a $900 mark for a mortgage repayment. Like, where the fuck are you getting an extra 300 from? Yeah. So you got to sacrifice other things. So before we could go out for dinner, like every night of the week, and we we're still living comfortable. Now you're like, okay, well, you got to miss... You know, two, three dinners. Yeah. Because of the fucking interest rise. Yeah. I guess it makes sense how so many people fucking lose their homes. That's doesn't it. it. I always thought it doesn't make sense, like fucking. But it all makes sense to me now. It's yeah. 30% more, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That's it. So that's what you're like. Like, <clears throat> if someone has a house and they can just afford that house, so, you know, if they're making, you know, let's just say 1200 a week and their repayments are 800 and then you got all your other bills and shit that you got to save for. Mm-hmm. Um, once interest rate hits and they get hit with that three hundred dollar increase, they have a hundred bucks for the yeah, week. Yeah. So then they're just like, "Well, what the fuck am I going to do now? I can't buy a full grocery shop. I can't pay for my bills anymore." And you're just like, "You know what the mm. fuck do you do?" So yeah, that's when everyone starts losing their houses because they just can't afford what they have. Fuck. So I guess just fucking don't get what you can afford. Get what you get. Get more than what you can afford. No, get have more money. Then you have to spend on the yeah, fucking that's mortgage. It. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know how to say that any better. <laughs> yeah, get less than what you can afford. Yeah, that's it. Sort of thing. So if you can afford $1,000 a week to go on a mortgage, if you have $800 on it sort of thing, you're comfortable because you've got a $200 sort of give at yeah. where it is. Yeah. So, but with everything, you know, you just, you have to do more. You have to earn more money. So you do more overtime, you do more side jobs. Mm-hmm. So you can offset what you've done. So... Yeah. It's just all about your mindset, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's mad. That's cool. So what about, like, um, you're still in that home now. So how long ago were you in that home that you built? No, we've been in for two years now. Two years. Yep. Yeah. And now, so for <clears throat> Skylord has just started school by the time you moved in there yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so the first year of being in there, she started school, so. Oh, and then you would have had the other baby yeah, at the same time. Yeah, and we had yeah, the other baby at the same time. Wow. So... Um, you don't, you don't fucking slow fun. down on nothing, bro. You're nah, pretty much so, full speed getting into it. life. Yeah, so, like, we're um, sort of really happy with where we are because, like, I've got a lot of mates that don't have a house. Then You know, they might have a couple toy cars or something like that and a boat and whatever. Mm-hmm. But they're still either renting or at their parents' place. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, fuck, you know, I've got two kids. I've got at my own house. I've got a toy car. Yeah. I'm just like, you know, fucking, I think we're doing really well oh, for, like, where yeah. we're at sort of thing. Oh, like, fuck yeah, bro. Um, You know, you always want more sort mm-hmm. of thing. Like, you know, I'd love another house for an investment property, but, you know, you got to be real with fucking what you want in life and what you can. So, you know, I could get rid of the toy car, mm-hmm. dump that fucking into savings and, you know, hopefully get another house. Mm-hmm. But then that's just more to deal with and mm-hmm. you need that fucking life balance as well. you yeah. got to enjoy your life, not, like... Yeah, work you know, to live. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's mad. But so, do you? So, is that is that another goal in mind? Like, get yeah, another place? Is that what you're working towards in the, f- um, in the future? Just not the near yeah. future. Yeah. So, it's sort of yeah, long term future sort of thing. Like, you know, you always want to better your life, and really, at the end of the day, better your children's life as well. Yeah. So, like, I always think about when I die, what are the kids going to get at the end? Oh, so that's so, not you consciously think. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, you know, fucking, I don't want them to be left with. Like, let's just say, if you know, we never paid our house off and they get the house at the end when I'm fucking dead mm-hmm. and they got to spend like 500k or something like that mm-hmm. on paying off a fucking house. Yeah, and then, they've you know, always lived in. Yeah, that's it. Or if that. they got to sell it off 
yeah. to you know pay it out, and then you know they might get a hundred thousand dollars in the end. Like, I don't want that. Yeah, I want a house paid off, so then they can either keep the house, sell the house, profit from that. So they both split it, and I get a house now. Uh, it's worth a bit over a million dollars. Mm. So if we sell that now and the kids split in half, you know, they get 500k each. Oh. So you think about, like, what's that going to do for them Yeah. in the future? Like, if they have their own mortgages, yeah. uh, they could hopefully pay off their mortgage or take a massive whack out of it so then they can live comfortably in life too. Not just that. If they just say they, they fucking get early started like you guys did and they're fucking, like, paying off shit quickly. Just say they own a house by the time you cock it. Yeah. Then they have they could live their dreams, bro. They could spend that five hundred thousand seeing the world, traveling around, and then they've still got the still got the security back home, yeah, waiting for them to come back, and they could create fucking memories. That's awesome. That's so, yeah, a, that's it's crazy it, that you have that conscious mind. Did that come straight away when you had a um, kid? Yeah, I think so. Sort of thing. Like you think about like their future because that's what you care about. Sort of thing. Like you know, when you have your own kids, you're just like you know, what's best for the child, really. So you just, like, you know, you think about, like, you know, in the future, like, hope they're not fucking stuck to an iPad, like, all day, just frying their fucking brain, watching that shit. Like, unfortunately, every kid like that these days. Yeah, I can imagine. So you got to try and, like, get them out of the house and sort of do shit. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah, you always think about, like, what's best for the children at the end of the day and, you know, how to make their life better in the future. Yeah. How was COVID having kids? With it? Did you feel like, fuck, this is like not good because they're not getting outside and shit or was it like um wasn't really an issue it wasn't too much of an issue it's because we were at my parents place when covid really hit like oh, we yeah. were out rural anyway so mm-hmm. it's not like we were going out to the parks and all the time like we lived on property so mm-hmm. there was horses there motorbikes oh, fucking yeah. your pool and whatever mm-hmm. else so we did everything we wanted to there and you know mm-hmm. it is what it is yeah so you got we had a lot of freedom out there so you yeah know, fucking didn't care about the neighbours because you got to go walk five minutes to go see the country. Yeah. So. One of the builders I met on site, he was telling me that he had his kid through COVID and then it's been, like, what, two years, and now his kid was being, like, real socially awkward. If he goes to the park and shit and there's another kid, he just, like, he doesn't want to interact kind of thing. Yep. He was like, fuck, this is so fucked. Like, this poor kid, like, how do we <clears throat> fix this shit? He drove him to fucking, I think, preschool or something. Dropped him off and was like, oh, this is going to be fucked. This is going to be fucked. And the kid just fucking shuts the door and he's just like, so yeah. 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 <laughs> he just walked out and he's like, oh. And then he was the one that was like, oh, fuck. My yeah. kid. <laughs> My kid. Yeah. What was it feeling like having fucking Skyler go to school? Was it fucking exciting as fuck? Like, yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was able to take the day off and, you know, enjoy her first day. So yeah. I think walking down to school with a new bag that's 10 times fucking too big sort of thing. <laughs> But um, no, she enjoys it. So she's done really well at school. Like yeah. she, um, it's one of the kids that sort of enjoys it and tries to be like real academic oh, sort of yeah, thing, which yeah. is fucking great. Nerd. Like love that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, full teacher's bed, like snitch and shit. So I'm like, it's good, but I'm like, you know, later on in life, you might cop it a bit. But yeah. That's I was like, mad. no. So I'm fucking, you know, I, I sort of d- we try and push her sort of thing. Like, like I said, you're always thinking about your child's future. So. If they're not being a dumb cunt at fucking school, they're going to get better grades and, you know, better education and yeah. hopefully have a fucking great job and earn fucking money sort yeah. of things. So that's what you want. Yeah, it's cool. Like, like when I think about me in school, I think of, like, what the fuck did it matter? I was fucking... I was useless as fuck. I did nothing ever. Yep. I just fucking... Just did whatever I wanted. I tried, but I still... I was useless. I was a fucking useless cunt at school. Yep. And then now it's like... I can see I'm making more money than literally 100% of the kids in school. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, but, but mind you, that's because of the hours I'm working. Like yeah. If I was doing day job, I guarantee 60% of them will be earning more than me now. Yeah. But then I think of like, in reality, if I had have been the kid who fucking paid attention, worked hard, fucking tried to get like good NAPLAN and then good HSC and shit, then I could be in fucking college at the age of fucking 18. I could yeah. be fucking studying some fucking... Marine biologist, fucking shit. I don't know what pays good, but yeah. <laughs> I'm a doctor and a lawyer. Sure, there's bloody other jobs, but that's a mad thing that you can see. That's a future she can have. Yeah, yeah. So like, <clears throat> one thing I regret about school is, as soon as I hit, that was like, actually my next question. I was curious. Do you regret anything from school? What I regret about school is just not leaving in year ten. Oh, so yeah. I left in year 10, I was going to be a chef. That's what I wanted to do. Like, I was always into cooking and fucking eating, being a fat cunt. Yeah. So I was like, fucking, you know, always, like, wanted to go down the chefing process. 
So then I got a job at a restaurant and shit, and um, then being young, working like fucking afternoons and night, Mm -hmm. you don't go and see your mates that have finished school and finished work in the afternoons. Yeah, I remember those. So like you just work during, like sleep during the day, work the afternoon and night. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, this is fucking shit. I'm young. I want to live my life. I want to see my mates. Mm -hmm. So then I fucking gave that up, went back to school. Mm -hmm. So then I could just fucking live the school life again. Yeah. Bludge. I can't believe that. Sort so of thing. In your, did you go back in year 11? Yeah, yeah, I went back in year 11. So it was like a thing. week after school started, I was like, fuck, I need to get back. Yeah, wow. So, yeah, went back to school. Um, and, yeah, like, I didn't even have, like, any subjects chosen or nothing. I just rocked up to school and they're like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, oh, well, fuck. What's there to do? I'll do, like, food tech and hospitality because I want to do the chefing sort of thing. And then I was like, yeah, I'll do fucking agriculture, primary industry, so I get out of the class and fucking go on the farm and shit. Yeah. And then like, I just think now I'm like, <clears throat> if, like, I knew what I was going to do now, like, get out of, get in a fridgy sort of work, mm. I would have been two years ahead yeah. sort of thing. So, you know, you would have been higher up the ranks somewhere and, you know, earn more money, but... Well, that's, that's only a possibility. Yeah, that's day, it. You never know. In reality, you would have been younger, dumber. Yeah. Like, I met you when you were fucking older. You were already fucking loose as fuck, bro. I, got, I can imagine when you were even younger, you would have been yeah. even more loose. That's yeah. it. Uh, but, you know, fucking, that's life. You yeah. never know what the fuck you're going to do and why you're going to do things. It's just what happens, happens, and you sort of go from there. Yeah. So, but, yeah, fucking, I'm happy. <clears throat> glad with the way my wife's gone sort of thing you know fucking... Bro, you're fucking giving me fucking to be honest i've been kind of cancelling out the idea in my head of fucking finding a missus and I, let me say you're actually fortunate as to find such a a comfortable relationship you know yep. he's a fucking obviously like, i know relationship takes work takes yeah. sacrifice that's and it. struggle and it's shit but for everything that's shit it's good yeah that's it you always have the good times and the bad times and then you're fucking fortunate to find someone who's in it with you. Yeah, that's it. I'm fucking... I've got this pessimism at the moment where I just can't see that fucking happening. Yeah. But then I hear stories like yours and I'm like, oh, all right, let's fuck... Let's find some bird. Yeah, that's it. Let's knock her up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My goal at the moment is it's like, if I'm going to have six kids, what's the reality that I'm going to find someone who wants the same future as me? Yep. I might just have to knock someone up soon and then just fucking... If she wants a couple more, she can have them, but then I'm going to have to knock someone else that's up it. after that. There's six of them, bro. Like, in the last role I was in, we had an agreement. Like, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll have three or four, but if you really want six, you're going to have to fucking find someone after that. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> that was an agreement we had for the whole relationship. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's fucking cool hearing your, hearing your side of it. I, but w- w- what changed your fucking... Because, like, to be honest, you're still the same person I like the, uh, when I first met you. Yeah. You're just as fucking... Everything's the same personality trait. But there's there's obviously a difference because, and I don't want this to sound insulting, but I couldn't see the future you have now as the person that I met when yeah, I met yeah. her. Now it's just it, it makes sense. Yep. Back then it was like, oh, I bet fucking one of these other kids like um, there were so many other kids like a like a Michael or a yep. Dean. I can see them having a an early an early future of fucking houses and building yep. their own home and kids and shit like that. So what? What age were you when you changed your fucking uh, behaviours to try and make it so this was going to happen? Were you, or did you already have the kid or were you... Um, no, nah, look, I was still pretty fucking stupid when I had the kid, I think. Like, I was still in that young phase where I wanted to do sort of dumb shit and live my life still, yeah. which is fucking mad. Like, how old were we when we went to that party in um, the Daft's Mrs. Party? <laughs> yeah, fucking... I think <laughs> Skylar was like a year and a half so like <laughs> yeah. fucking 21 yeah. I was still fucking yeah. that loose cunt yeah sort of thing yeah still doing that shit okay. fucking so like <clears throat> but there's always like the time mm. so like I've always sort of had in like my head you got there's a time where you just got to draw a line in the sand yeah and you got to say like you know is this the point where it's just become like too much yeah and um you know it was, yeah like I said like it was just that time where I was like fuck you know you got to somewhat settled down like i can still go out and enjoy fucking you know a weekend yeah yeah so i think like last weekend mm-hmm. like i got fucking oh, loose yeah, that's out. right that's right that yeah, was like, the best that's i've ever seen yeah bro. that's what i'm saying like you know fucking it was just the one random night where i was like oh fuck it you know i'll let loose tonight and yeah 
pay for it fucking tomorrow. Yeah, because then, you obviously you obviously had this the this, this uh, what do you call it the security in place. You know, like yeah, that's so it. Kids obviously yeah, with the kids were at, my, yeah, the kids were at my parents, and then fucking you know yeah, pick them up the next day and whatever. Yeah, that's instead what I was of, like. You instead know? of like, I was ah. always gonna go there for a couple of drinks. Yeah, and then you know drinks started flowing, and I was like, fuck it, we on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, you know, fucking just <laughs> kept going all night and then, yeah, fucking videoing everyone and fucking <laughs> egging me on. Bro, that, that was like, for me, that was nostalgic. That was like, fuck yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's back. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I love art. That's the best match out ever. I love art. Fuck, that was great. But, like, did you find that it was like an instant thing or did it just slowly happen? Like, you're like... Um, nah, probably not a good idea tonight. Or did you eventually have to be like, I'm putting my foot down? Nah, I think it sort of slowly sort of became on sort of thing. So, like, you know, I was finding that if I was going out sort of every weekend, you just like, fuck, you know, every second weekend I might go out yeah. sort of thing. And then from that, you just like every third weekend maybe I'll go out and you, know, you just sort of find, you start slowing down from there Yeah. sort of thing. So, um, but, you know, you always got to have your own time sort mm-hmm. of thing. You can't fucking be stuck at the house like... Saturdays, you can't be stuck at the house with the family all the time because, yeah. you know, you feel like you get bottled up and, mm. you know, you start sort of resenting where you're at or, you know, mm. you get annoyed a lot earlier about things. You know, your missus says something, you fucking snap yeah. instead of just being like, okay, yeah, whatever, cop it and go do what you were fucking asked to do. Yeah. And then do you just have that, like, is, does she understanding? Like, you're like, I need my own time, so she gives it to you and then she's the same kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not one of these bitches that's like... No, you're not fucking doing this. No, no, no like no. every fucking you play golf fucking every month. Can't yeah, you? yeah. No, no, she's not all that. So no, she's sweet. So like, as long as I give her enough time, yeah, sort of thing in advance. Like fucking before, I was always just dumping on her. Like you know, if I was going out that night, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going out tonight. She's like, fuck, would be nice to know, mate. Yeah, like, you know, it's for dinner. Yeah, I got to sort out dinner. I got to sort out the two kids and whatever yeah. else. I'm just like, okay, well. I'll let her know, like, you know, a week in advance, like, oh, yeah. we're planning on going out Friday. So, so okay, sweet. Nice. Yeah, that's you awesome. Know, you get bro. shit fucking sorted. Bro, there's this cunt that lives, like, two streets away, maybe three streets away, and he's, like, he's he played, he's played hockey, like, every month, once a month for, like, fucking 25 years or something. And his yep. missus is, like, yeah, no, nah, you're giving that up. It's enough. You've spent too much time on it. That's it. And he's like, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, fuck. Give up the missus, man. Fucking give it up, boys. <laughs> fuck. That's like a future that I see depressing. I would say see a depressing future was I know lads. I used to work with one, and he had no control over his money, zero. Yep. Everything went to her. He used to be given an allowance of like $9.50 a day. She'd transfer him $9.50, and like that would get him his coffee and his donut. Yeah. The cunt kind of, he'd maybe get a go bucket for lunch if he's lucky. Anyway, I end up getting a pay rise. He got like twelve bucks by the end of the time he worked with me. Yep. But like he'd have to ask for the money every morning. It wasn't an automatic transaction. It'd be like we're going past the coffee shop. He'd be like, "Ah, oh, yeah, go tap his card, decline, call his missus, wait for her to call back, kind of thing." It'd be forty-five fucking minutes, bro. I'm done fucking two coffees, six donuts, and a pie, yeah. bro. And this cunt's waiting to get his money. And eventually, you're like, "Fuck it, cunt, I'll pay for it for you." But he had enough. He never got any control. And I'm like, yep. that's a scary, scary future. Yeah, that's like, it. You got yeah, no, I guess I he had to be put his foot with down that. early. I guess he'd have to be like, no, yep. from the beginning. And don't give in to the fucking, to the devil, bro. But I can't, I had a, I had a question I was getting at, but I can't remember what it was. But it's good that you just have that fucking healthy balance. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You sort of need to. Otherwise, yeah, like I said, you're going to start resenting each other. Then your relationship's going to fail, and then what's going to happen with the kids? Split fucking family life. You yeah. Know? You obviously always want your kids to grow up underneath your house. Yeah. Sort of thing, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking cool. It's it's mad, bro, because I've just been surrounded by fucking... I think I remember what I was getting at before, but I've been surrounded by fucking stories of negativity for so long, and it's, like, also based on previous relationships. Like, yeah. But I don't know if I have trust, you know what I mean? Like... For one, these last fucking six months to a year has been like, I can do whatever the fuck I want whenever I want, and yep. I don't think I'm willing to give up any of my time. I don't think I want to give anyone an hour a day, an hour a week. Like, for me, it's like I don't even take girls out on days because it's like, bro, that's my fucking Friday. That's me Saturday. Yep. Like, I've got shit to do. I'd rather fucking just spend fucking three hours editing a video and then go to bed by 11 o'clock yep. or wake up at fucking four or five o'clock in the morning and go to the gym. To me, I see it. But then, 
fucking couple of my mates are getting engaged. One of them has a kid. You're, you're already set up, bro. You got the fucking. And it's like, oh, all right, maybe I'll fucking find some bird again. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. It's different when you're not in a relationship. Yeah. It's a scary world. It's a full scary world. That's it. I think it's more or less you just got to find that person that you want to hang out with on the weekend. So, you know, if you've got someone there that chills out with you while you fucking edit your fucking the docs cast and sort of thing and, you know, you fuck around while you're doing that. So instead of it taking you two hours sort of thing, it might be three hours because you fucking ran in between. Yeah. But you're true. enjoying it. Yeah. Sort of thing. So you're still spending time together mm-hmm. and, you know, just chilling out. It's not like you're taking time out of your day yeah, to okay. sort of satisfy their needs as well. Yeah. We're kind sort of, of doing shit together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because then I guess what if they like, say, you like the gym or they want to fucking go do something I want to do. I guess I have someone to do what I want to do with. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I never... So you got like fucking, you know, a partner <laughs> on, bro. Yeah, that never clicked to yeah. me. So, I but even still, like, you know, there's with. that balance again, like I was saying, like, fucking, if they want to go to the gym and you didn't feel like it, they should be com- comfortable enough for the, you know, them to go by themselves, mm-hmm. sort of thing, while you chill out and do whatever else you want. And yeah. The exact same thing if you want to go and they didn't want to go. Yeah. You know, fucking... You know, you do you for a while while I do me. Yeah, that's a fucking... For, for some reason, that I've never had that relationship before. That makes so much sense, but where you fucking... You actually want to do what each other wants yep. to do. I've that's always it. been fucking like, turn this shit off. Like, this is fucked. Like, yep. And then I have to be like, oh, fine, we'll go do this kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, all right. I right hear So, but there's even like things like fucking, you know, my missus will want to watch something on TV, watch a series, and like, before I never watched TV or nothing, I like fucking didn't... I didn't give a fuck about it. And then, yeah. like, one day she was like, oh, you have to watch this series. And I was like, oh, I don't give a fuck about TV. Like, no, I think it was The Animal Kingdom. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, she was like, oh, yeah, watch it. It's pretty good. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck about that, to be honest. She's like, just fucking sit down and we'll watch it. We can watch it together. I was like, all right, no worries. So, first episode, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's all right. And then second, third, and I was like, fuck, this is actually mad. <laughs> so, you know, then every night you're like, okay, we'll watch an episode together. So, yeah. you know, you sit down, watching a movie together, have something to drink and eat and whatever. Yeah. So, like, there's that time shared together, so it's not like me out in the fucking garage working on the car yeah. and she being inside sort of thing, so. Yeah. <clears throat> fuck, you love working on cars, bro. What car do you have now? Oh, I've got a WRX now. Yeah, fuck yeah. So, Back to the Subies, huh? Yeah, that's it. It was a family car. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I sold the toy, like, you know, the Skyline. Yeah. Because missus wouldn't go in it, couldn't put the kids in it, didn't have back seat. <laughs> you had one seat, had <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what a pig that was. Yeah, okay, fuck. Good car. <laughs> yeah, that was sick, but that Yeah, was sick. so fucking... Bro, one of my favourite memories is... I don't remember what car you had at the time. It might have been the Subi, but we left... Remember we left the fucking... We went to an excursion for TAFE to the fucking LG factory at Eastern Creek. Yeah, yeah. Bruh. That was the Skyline. Yeah, That's that when I nice. recently got that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. We'll go fucking back one of these back roads in the industrial area. Yeah. Go fucking loop it up. Yeah. Even leaving TAFE... Uh, leaving the thing at the end of the day, bro. On the Great Western, bro. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick. I was sick. I've never been able to do that. I've never had a car that can do that. Yeah. I, I remember one of my mates got a shout out to Luke Mann. He was like, he got this Toyota Echo and he's like, bro, it's a piece of shit. Like, I just want to fucking just have fun with it. Yep. And I hit you up. I was like, bro, where can we go? And you're like, Eastern Creek Industrial. There's this mad spot. He sent me a pin and you're like, I've heard people go there. <laughs> oh my God, let me just say that. Someone told me about this place once. So try it out. And then there's this fucking, like, gap in the fence. You kind of go to a motorbike track. Yep. We took his car, bro. We fucking hit everything. We hit every fucking dirt jump. Yeah. Fucking, God, that was so much fun. That's it. I've never had any, I've never ever had any experience other than that when it comes to fucking thrashing anything. Yep. Yeah, I've never been into drifting and shit. I've just never had a car. That's probably why. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's it. But, you sort of got to be in it and, like, you know, if you got mates that do it, then you get egged on by them and, you know, you're always fucking... Yeah. Like, I loved being in control of something that, like, wasn't in control sort of thing. Like, yeah. fucking drifting everywhere, fanging around fucking corners sideways yeah. and cunts fucking freaking out thinking you're going to fucking spin out and yeah. hit them or something. Dude, I remember you fucking had videos up on YouTube fucking go-kart and bombing hills and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. You've always been into fucking the thrill of fucking driving yeah, that's something. It. Yeah. It's fucking mad. What about, what about outside of fucking spending time with the family and working on the cars, anything else that you've spent your time doing? Because um, you've got a pretty good work-life balance, say, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, at the moment, yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's, it's been sort of somewhat of a summer, the last couple of weeks, month, sort of thing, being on the beach a lot, sort of thing. Um, ever since I started my diet, I've been, like, heaps more comfortable, 
in my body and shit. So like now, fucking, you know, I'll go to the beach, don't have to wear a shirt because I don't like a rashy on up because I don't feel like a fat cunt anymore. Well, oh, fuck you, bro. So you've lost. You're slim, bro. You're slim down yeah, a lot. How much weight have you lost? Ah, uh, thirty kilos now. Fuck. So. Fuck. So, yeah, fucking, it's been heaps good. So, you know, go to the beach and fucking getting more, like, tan and shit, whereas before I was just a pasty fucking white cunt. <laughs> yeah. But now, like, yeah, I'm fucking starting to brown up, so I can, <laughs> yeah. you know, feeling it and fucking... I, just, I'm, I can't go beach, bro. I yeah. can't go beach. I, I'm just fucking lobster in five, yeah. bro. Like, it's just well, that was straight me. in, straight out. That was me, like, the first day, like, fucking, you know, when I started, I just fucking went red, and then I was like, okay, fuck. From now on, you know, a bit of sunscreen or whatever, I'll wear my shirt for half the time instead of fucking, you know, yeah. not the full time. And yeah, true. It's a good bit of work there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like even like the spot we go to um, in Kirribilli, it's got like a ferry wharf there mm-hmm. and you can climb up onto the roof of that. Oh, yeah. So, like, usually we just jump off the wharf and it's, like, fucking, you know, a metre drop into the water. Mm-hmm. But, no, you climb up on the roof and it's, like, a five-metre drop. <laughs> yeah, that's so, Like, you've not been doing that the last couple of times going there. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. It's, like, everyone thinking, like, who's this fuck we can climb <laughs> up there? I'm just, like, you know, you got to enjoy your time, yeah. like, while you're young. So, you're going with fucking Joey a lot, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's sick. What about other than the beach, like, fucking... What you say where you live now? You saying is that it's still rural as far? Yeah, yeah, it's still pretty rural out there. Sort yeah. of thing. So it's a little estate where it is, but it's all like acreage around there. So I'm um, a little one ten that I had. I'd ride the streets everywhere with that. Go down the shops and fucking do whatever. Yeah. Fucking gap around. Go to BMX jumps. Yeah, go fucking yeah. do that on the bike. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like fucking not really too much to be honest. Like you know, I'll go home, do cars or the bike, and then. You always got to do shit. I only got to mow the lawns. You yeah, got to do true. washing, cleaning. Do you find like mad fucking satisfaction in that? Like fucking having the lawn? Because I see myself in the future being like. Yeah, yeah. It. You get to a point where you're like, it's a fucking chore. Yeah. Like once you like keep fucking at it, like, you know, you're mowing twice a week sort of thing. You like fucking get proud of it when it's looking mint. Yeah, it's sick. Sort of thing. You but fucking then... get a whip snip up and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited for that. Eh? I don't know why, but I just can't wait down the yeah. lawn. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, but yeah, fucking. Um, you know. You've always been such an outdoor person, eh? Yeah, that's it. Fucking, like I said, like, I've always hated, sort of, well, not always hated, like, when I was young, when everyone was playing, like, COD and shit like that. Like, I was all into that, too, because, you know, you didn't do that. But then, when I stopped that and, like, started riding push bikes and scooters and whatever else, like, I was always at the skate park every day. Yeah. Go ride to the skate park, ride at the skate park till dark, ride home, and yeah, that was it. And then... Whatever else, I could ride skateboards, fucking the drift truck and yeah. anything fucking else. And then cars came into life when yeah. fucking you, I got my license, so. I find that everyone that just fucking did, that built and fixed their own scooters and skateboards and BMX bikes got into cars. Yeah. Pretty much all of them. It's just the next, like, set of wheels to get, like, you know, yeah. you have a fucking bike and then you get a car, so then you're like, fuck yeah, this is mad, so yeah. you do more with that. Yeah. So. For some reason, I never fucking took that leap. I don't know why. I think I just, I pick up something so quickly, I get so into it, and then I just fucking just drop it instantaneously and pick up something else yep. straight away that they have nothing to do with each other. Like, say the age of fucking, say fucking early adolescence, I might have been like 12. It'd be like fucking trampolining, bro, and it'd be like 365 days a year working on fucking being able to do a triple backflip and yep. fucking one jump and shit. That'd, that'd be my goal, just fucking, and then all of a sudden drop it, and pick up Xbox and play Xbox 365 days a year, fucking eight, yep. nine hours a day. And then all of a sudden that'll change to say scooters or skateboards. But then for some reason, the, the cars just never got picked up. I think from that, it probably got to, probably went straight to fucking drugs. I think. Yeah. <laughs> probably that was my next step. That was my next step. Yeah, but it's sick. I, I don't know. I don't spend much time outside. Do you reckon you're into like camping and all that kind of shit? Um, I, I don't mind going camping and shit like that. I've never been, like, that far into where I've bought a tent or a swag or nothing like that. Like, fucking, <clears throat> we were just talking with my mates, fucking, like, last night and this morning, um, when we used to go to a motorbike track that would go camp at sort of thing, and I'd fucking rock up with a sleeping bag. Yeah. Like, sleeping outside. Just have a fucking sleeping bag. Like, they got swags and tents. <laughs> I'd just be like, yeah, sleeping bag, sweet, mate. I'll fucking, I'll do this. Yeah. You know, and then fucking half the time if it's raining, so then you're like, fuck, what do I do now? Yeah. So, yeah, but fucking, you know. I had to cozy up with someone that else. Is. That's what I was like. I was like, you know, fucking. Yeah. I was never prepared for it, but I was always down for it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think, so, you know. I don't know if, I've been thinking about it too, because a couple of mates are getting into it, and it's like, I, 
I'm too much of a fucking prancy bro. I'm just a pussy. I, I don't, I don't want to fucking sleep on the fuck. To be honest, maybe I could sleep on the fucking ground in a swag. Yep. But I need a fucking hot shower as soon as I wake up. Yeah, I need a fucking triple soap conditioned shampoo, yeah. bro. Put on me fucking Uggs. I went to where did I go recently? I went to I went to Lismore actually to see one of my mates for the podcast, and I fucking ha- I took like Ugg boots, gown, pajamas, face fucking cream on, bro. Yeah. I took a fucking my manscape, bro. I just like I just didn't feel comfortable without knowing I had everything. Yep. I just don't think I could be outdoors, bro. I hate yeah, getting dirty. Yeah. I couldn't. I think that's probably why I don't like working on cars. I just hate getting dirty at yep. work, bro. When I get dirty, I get the shits. Like I'm, I, tr- I always yarn with these birds at work. It's sick working at these fucking supermarkets because there's so many coals workers, bro. Oh, I might beep out that word. I think I mentioned it before. Anyway, fuck it. There's coals workers everywhere. And every day is a new bird to flirt with. It's fucking makes work fun. Yep. And then you like set yourself like, yeah, I'll fucking grab this bird's number by the end of the week. And then next week is another one. You're like, yeah. oh, it's fucking so much fun. Who's better? Yeah. <laughs> create Who's a little bit of tension. Time? Yeah. Create little fucking tensions. Uh, what do you call it? Um, rivalries between them. Yeah, that's it. But then like, they'll say to me like at like fucking four or five o'clock in the morning, I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, why are you fucking being like this? And I'm just like grumpy as. And then I'll fucking go get changed because I always take spare clothes to work. I might even get changed twice, bro, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll come back fresh as the daisy. I'm fucking happy as. I'll scrub myself. And then they're, they're like, oh, fuck, I guess you feel better now that you're clean. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm sorry about that. I hate getting dirty, bro. I'm a germaphobe. It's getting worse as I get older. Yeah. I fucking, I can't have a shower without fucking washing myself with two different soaps, two different scarers. It's getting you got to sanitize bro. before you get in the shower. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's getting bad. I won't get into bed with with my socks touching the floor. Yeah, I'll t- keep fucking something next to me bed. If I have to get up, I'll have to put what, slippers on or something. Because it's like, nah, I can't. See, I can't. It's a, ba- it's a There's a boundary between the floor and the bed, bro. I can't, yeah. can't cross contaminate until I get sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucked. Is there anything else that he's watching? Like, at the moment, he's watched shit on Netflix together. Yeah, no, I'm not really watching anything with her at the moment. Like, I can, like I said, I'm pretty somewhat busy. Yeah. Like, we're just doing anything else. Mm-hmm. So, I think I just, you know, clean up the house and, like, my carport area out the back, like, where I got all my car shit, like, I'll reorganise that and then I'll be like, oh, I'm not happy with that. So then you fucking pull everything back out again, put it all in the garage, and then fucking organise it again. Yeah. And you might think that's the way you want it. I, I hear Got to that. move shelves, yeah. put more racking somewhere, fucking bolt shit to the walls. Yeah, I hear that, but that's yeah. satisfying as fuck. I, yeah. I can see that as my future, yeah. 100%. But then there's always little things. Like, at your house, there's always something that you got to do. Like, the other day, um, I finished doing, like, we got a doorbell camera sort mm-hmm. of thing. And I got that when... Pretty much when we moved in, so like two years ago, mm-hmm. and it was probably like four months ago, I started putting it in. I wired up the wall pad inside the house, powered mm-hmm. it up. Then I was like, yeah, I'll run the fucking cable to the door and then put the camera in, and it was hot days. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that today. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, I did something else. Next day, something else. And then I was like, fuck, when am I going to do this? And then one day, I got home early from work, so I was like, fuck it, I'll do it today. Yeah, it has so to get be the done. cable out, fucking drill holes in the wall, and then you're just like, Fuck. To climb up all the way in the roof. <laughs> That'll do for today. That's it. <laughs> yeah. then, like you see your garage, that's half apart again because you fucking clean up the carport. You're like, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> and then, yeah, <laughs> tomorrow fucking comes. You're going to go pick the kids up from school, feed them, clean them. Yeah. That's mad. Like, yeah, so you're fuck. able to pick up the kids from school and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, so that's fucking good. Yeah. So I start early where I'm at now so I can get home earlier as well. So. Mm. What time do you reckon? What time's early? Uh, sort of depends. If they're watching, it's late. <laughs> if they're not, like, you know, midday sort of thing, like today. No, sort but, like, what about, like, when um when you start early, what time start? Oh, like, sort of six in the morning. Yeah. Sort of thing where yeah. I can start. When so. I was on day shift, I was not happy to start before six. Yep. Like, get fucked. So, yep. we, bro, we used to start at the X company before at fucking eight. Bro, get, oh, my gosh. You don't even finish work till 4.30. Yeah. But by the time you get to the workshop at eight, the fucking boss wants to have a yarn for a beer. You got to fucking strap the truck up with gear. It's nine, nine thirty, ten. Yep. You head out. You get to the dis. You just just say you cop traffic. It's eleven, bro. And then you got an eight hour day. Yep. And it's like get fuck. This is bullshit. 
Then uh, I've got into a system starting at 6, 6 till 2.30. What a fucking life. Yep. Anything after that's OT. It's fucking sick. Yep. But yeah, as I said, fucking night shift, bro. I do 9 to 7-ish, to usually. Sometimes later, sometimes 9 to 9. Yep. But what a, it's just for me, it's just such a great schedule, bro. Yep. I fucking have every day yeah, of the week your free. Lifestyle. Yeah. Every hour of sunlight is mine for yep. every day of the week. And now, it's pretty lucky too. I've got fucking 10 days off at the moment. Fucking pretty good. We're actually, me and Jordan talked about this. We're kind of up to long service, bro. So yeah. You. It's pretty crazy. You thought about what you're going to do with long service? Just fucking bang it, mate. <laughs> bang it. Yeah. Is that planning for a holiday or anything? Nah, uh, not really. Not just yet. So yeah. anyway, like I said, we got the wedding. So oh, yeah, true, true. Going ahead, so we're pumping everything into that. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, we're fucking everything else. Like, we're having kids, like, young kids. You can't really, like, expect to go on, you know, a big holiday somewhere. Like, last year, we went to Queensland in, like, November, December. Yeah. So, like, <clears throat> we got to Queensland, you do the theme parks. So, Skylar, she can go do rides and shit like that. She can't get on everything because she's still a little bit smaller. Yeah. So you can only do half the shit that's there, and then I'd always have to be down with like Ali or Tia Wood. Mm-hmm. So then you just like fucking. There's always just us being on the ground half and yeah. up on a ride or something. So yeah. you sort of restricted with what you can and can't do. Yeah. Did you find? Did you feel restricting, or did it just feel like like it was just part of normal life having two um, kids? Somewhat restricting, but then like that's that's our normal because you know we've had the phone. Had the kids for ages, so you just yeah. like, yeah, you know, you deal with what it is. Yeah. But, like, you know, if you could go away for two weeks and not miss your kid and whatever else and deal with them being at the grandparents for two weeks, like, you know, fucking, it would be mad. Yeah. But, you know, T always loves being around the kids and doesn't want to be away from them, which yeah. is, you know, fair enough. A mother always wants to be around her kids. Yeah, of course. Uh, I know some people, re- they have kids, they have, like, a... I think like maybe a eight year old and then a five year old and then a two year old and then a navy. No, I think there might be four of them now. Fuck, they've been pumping them out. But they just recently fucking was like to the grandparents, like, do you mind just fucking looking after them for a fucking few days each? Yep. And they went to fucking Bali. I think they went to Bali. But I think that's, it's it's kind of healthy, you know what I mean? But they're yep. also not planning for a wedding yet. They, yep. I don't even know if they're engaged for the wedding or anything like that. So I can see I can see why it's a good idea to just fucking spend some time together, go overseas. Yep. Do you do much things just the two of you? Um, yeah, so like every now and then we'll go do like a night out mm-hmm. and whatever, which is what you need the fucking break sort of thing from the kids. You can't just do family things all day, every day yeah. of the week and Yeah. You can't go out to like real nice restaurants because, you know, one kid's crying and they need a high chair and they don't yeah. have a kid's fucking menu sort of thing, like spaghettios and yeah. fucking cheeseburger nuggets and shit <laughs> yeah so but um yeah yeah so you know it's all about that life balance again yeah sort of thing. Do, you feel, do, you, do you see the Skylar's like like taking on some roles to like help out now that she has like she's yeah, yeah. stuff yeah yeah so you it's know like interesting to watch as well yeah yeah it's good so like she'll always help out with Ali so you know get like go get a bottle for her or something and you know have to get nappies and whatever else help clean up shit as well sort of thing I was like you know fucking Got to sort of somewhat do a part, yeah. Um, to help out and you know have a bit of responsibility. So then, when she's older, she understands. Yeah. So. It's mad that you have a good fucking balance as well. As you're saying, especially seeing Joey like three times a week. Is that mostly yeah. just the work? What about when you just weren't working together? Um, when we weren't working together, uh, it was like every fortnight. Yeah. Okay. Is like would organize um, Friday nights. We'll go out for dinner and a smoke. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we did all the time. Back when I was living. Norellan way and we're only fucking 10 minutes from each other. He'd drop in all the time because yeah. fucking he was local. So his yeah. sister lived like fucking a couple of streets away from me. Mm-hmm. So if he went and seen his sister, he'd be like, oh, are you at home? I'm like, yeah, I'm course my home. I've got the fucking kids. So yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll come over then. Yeah. So he comes, hangs out yeah. sort of thing. But now because I'm fucking 40 minutes away from him sort of thing, yeah. it's you got to plan the mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. So, but now we work together, yeah, fucking, you know, if he's on a job, if I'm on a job, he needs a hand or I do. Yeah. And we were just like, oh, yeah, fucking come to this job or yeah. go to the fucking beach. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to the beach today. So you want to come? Fuck, yeah. no, I'll come. So, so, so you just kind of have the freedom of choosing whether you can fucking go to each work with yep. each other if you need a hand. Yeah, that's it. Fuck, that's just fucking awesome, bro. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Yep. That's so lucky. That's it. So, what a great job. Like I said, job. that's how, like, you know, we 
pick and choose what we do sort yeah. of thing. So if, if I didn't want Joey, I wanted someone else who might work a bit harder or fucking yeah. you know, not be a lazy cunt, fucking, yeah. you know, get them. Yeah. But, um. Well, you just need a slacky, you know what I mean? You yeah, know, you that's feel it. feel bad, don't want to give the dash shit job to Joey. Yeah. Call a fucking slacky. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, you know, that's what it is, huh? Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I find that it's pretty easy for me not having kids to find a balance. Pretty easy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, you're just running your show, so yeah. you choose where you draw the line rather than, yeah. you know, you got to factor in what the kid needs, what your missus needs. Yeah. So. How expensive is it? Like, were you expecting how expensive it was to have kids or is it not fucking that crazy? Um, sort of all depends, eh? Like, Sky was pretty good. Like, you know, she was just a normal kid. Ali being born premature and she's got, like, a dairy intolerance. So she's got to have a special formula that's, like, fucking 40 bucks a tin. Yeah, right. And then um, whatever else sort of thing you need. So, um, you know, it's a bit different, but um, you sort of you get used to it. Like, that's just your normal weekly bills that you have yeah, now. True, so true. you get used to that balance again. Yeah. Did, did, did you find it got easier by the time you had a second kid or was it the same? Like, um, just, was it more stressful what happened too? No, I wouldn't say it was more stressful. It was pretty much the same, I'd say. So, you know, you, you just got to adapt to having the two now sort yeah. of thing. So you got to find, again, all about balance. you got to get another one. Time <laughs> between fucking having, like, for the first child so they don't feel left out with things. Yeah. Sort of thing, like like I said, because Alaska was born um, premature, Tia was always at the hospital for the first six weeks mm-hmm. of her sort of life, mm-hmm. sort of thing. So it was just me and Skylar together every day, sort of thing. So she was missing out on Tia, because then if she come home like late at night, sort of thing, like Skylar had to get up for school or whatever. Yeah. So she couldn't be up at eleven o'clock when she gets home, and yeah, you know, just having the time apart. Like fucking, there was even you know, if I would be doing weekend work. I'd be taking Skylar to work with me. Yeah, and I'm yeah. going to work at a fucking pool on a heat pump. Yeah. I'll have her sitting behind me sort of thing on her fucking tablet while yeah. I'm working away. Yeah. Sort of thing, but... Um, that's cool, but... But yeah, so fucking, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, that's heaps cool. <clears throat> that's heaps cool. I, I always fucking got jealous, like, of the fucking kids that got to go to work with their fucking parents. Yeah. Jeez, one of those kids. That's yeah. it. And then, like, you, you know... be a fridgy, bro. <laughs> yeah. But it was, like, always, like, in the back of your head, you're like, fucking, you know, they're going to touch something they shouldn't or, yeah. you know... There was this one time I was, like, in a, um office complex, and I was like, look, I'm really sorry, but I've got my daughter with me. Is that okay? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fine. But then I'm like, well, I'll just sit her in the back corner with the chair. If I can, she got this. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Like, don't stress. I'm like, you know, but fucking, I'm coming to work. I've got a kid with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it's not so professional, but, you know, fucking, yeah. I have to do what I have to do. Yeah. And did you find everyone was pretty understanding? About yeah, it? like, they don't give a fuck sort of yeah. thing. It's not like fucking, I had her holding the screwdriver and fucking <laughs> My getting up there. Help me, yeah. <laughs> Pass me the fucking flatty, mate. <laughs> you should train her up like that. Yeah. That'd be fucking good taking her to work. Yeah, like, that's start it. get the back pump. <laughs> and you're like early in the day too yeah. and you know you're gonna need it in like two hours that's it <laughs> that's what our fucking apprentice is like anyway you're fucking <laughs> yeah. children mate yeah one kid we got at the moment like fucking the cunt takes a piss every five minutes yeah and takes like, an actual piss yeah like fucking yeah like goes Diabetic. to the toilet yeah. every five minutes yeah. I'm like fuck I need to get checked out and oh no I just fucking need to pee <laughs> I'm like no cunt like are you five years old cunt I said my daughter doesn't go to the toilet as much as you <laughs> yeah yeah. You know, fucking like we'll have like a teams meeting sort of thing and he'll fucking walk up to the other boys and like whisper in the air, Oh yeah, can I go to the toilet? <laughs> He's like, just go to the fucking toilet, cunt. I'm not your fucking dad. They're like, yeah. you don't need permission, just go. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah, asking yeah. that on my first day of work actually. I remember asking, Hey, you wanna just go to the toilet? And the tra- trader then looked at me and he's like, What the fuck are you asking me for, cunt? You want me to yeah. hold it? And that was never never asked ever. I was like, Oh yeah. <laughs> like you're your own person. Like, yeah. you know, you're not in school anymore, you don't need permission to leave. Like, you just fucking go, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's sick. At the big at the big company, what's it like having apprentices? Are they like kinda of like more flexible to just be fucking dumb cunts as if it was a small company? Or yeah. are they more harsh? No, no, no. They they get away more mm-hmm. with shit just because um at a big company, you're like you're not getting checked up on as much. Like at a small company, you have to keep up with the pace. Otherwise, they know you're not going to make it. Yeah. Whereas at a big company, if you've got fucking 200 employees, fuck, that's massive. And sort of thing. Like, like, I think that's just time. HVAC for our like one site, what? sort of thing. So, so how many people would be employed in that fucking company? Um, I think when I first got there, they were saying there was like over 
nine hundred. What the f- that's sort of thing? Can't. I'm talking like my company would have thirty fucking cunts. Yeah, no, like this big company. Like I'm saying, like fucking these cars subbies. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like apprentices that are shit slide under the radar because you know they're just there as a number. Oh, bro. So they get through their life, do their fucking trade, and think they're going to go elsewhere for more money and whatever. Yeah. And they're the dumb cunts you see out there that can't do jobs. Yeah. Like, we got one kid that was a second... And they'll make good money, too. Uh, yeah, well, they'll try to. Yeah, true, true. So, but, yeah, one kid was a second year sort of thing, and when I first had him, tried, like, figuring him out and whatever, and, like, what he can do. I was like, oh, yeah, <clears throat> can you replace the condenser van? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> no worries. Get to the job. All right, replace it. Okay. Walks up to the fan, he looks at it. Hmm, do I just take those bolts off? <laughs> and I'll fucking isolate the thing first, unwire it, whatever. <laughs> so I had to do the job for him. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll show you this one, and then you do the next one. Yeah. Then he gets around, he does the next one, and then he just ripped all the wires out. Didn't yeah. see where they fucking <laughs> plugged into. Yeah. Then so I was like, oh, so what are you going to do? Oh, I'll figure it out. He goes, fucking wires it up, wired it fucking wrong, put a fucking neutral into the fucking um, HP switch. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, wait, blue, I was like, yeah, mate, you just fucking blew that up. And he's like, oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I thought the blue wire just went with the blue wire. Yeah. And I was like, no, you got to fucking look where they go first. I said, take a photo first. Yeah. So the picture tells a thousand words and where, where it all went. Yeah, yeah. So you're just like, fuck, like, how are they going to make it yeah. in life? I hear. And like that same apprentice, he said after at the big company, he was going to go to a small company. He's like, yeah, I want to move to a small company sort of thing. And I said, you're fucking doing it all wrong, mate. Yeah. Work like a dog at a small company because they're going to push you hard because you're a person, not a number. Yeah. You're going to learn the most and you're going to have like somewhat the most responsibility because you're going to get your ass kicked for not doing things right or on time or being slow and whatever. I was like, then you go to a big company and you relax. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what I found now. Like you know, I used to work like a dog before, and then now because you're I'm, also I'm relaxed all the now. Skills, bro. That's it, yeah. You don't have to stress now. Yeah. You yeah. know, you just get thrown in the deep end at first. Like you know, I was the third year going out by myself. Yeah. Doing shit. Whereas these cunts are a fourth year and they're fucking still with a tradie yeah. doing shit. Yeah. And I can imagine even fucking into the first years of being a tradesman, they'll probably be with someone. Yeah. In the beginning, anyway. Yeah. I, I always tell apprentices that I say, <clears throat> I say, pick a fucking small company. Doesn't matter if it's fucking aircon or refrigeration, and just fucking learn as much as you can, work as much as you can, and then yep. get the fuck out of there as soon as you fucking can, bro. Like yep. I mean, but just try and at least get to like tradesman, yeah, and just get the fuck out. Even if you change companies as an apprentice, I think that's fucking pretty pretty smart. Yeah, that's it. It's always good to learn from different tradesmen. Yeah, like if you're at a small company, you pick up what that tradesman does. So if it's just like you and one bloke, like you're going to learn all his habits on how he does things. So then you go to another company and this kind does it completely different. So you're either going to get thrown off or you're not going to keep up with like their standard or what they do. Yeah. Yeah. And then like at a big company as well. Yeah. Like all their safety procedures. Like before I used to just fucking go throw tape over a fucking breaker and go yeah. work on the company like, yeah, whatever. But now they're like, no, you got to padlock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Padlock it off. Fucking this and that. I'm like, no, Feeling fuck that back. I'm like, fuck it. She'll be sweet, shit. mate. I won't even turn the fucking thing off. <laughs> yeah. Rip the fan wires out and fucking don't touch them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fucking sick. But, uh, but bro, I, I just, uh, I can imagine you feel the same. It's like you just feel more professional now. You feel like, you feel like things are getting done the way they should be getting done. Yep. Especially having the, can you imagine how much money these big cunts are making, yeah. bro? Yep. It, I always thought these small companies making the making the bank, bro. They're making two, three grand a day. Like that's heaps. Yep. Come on, that's nothing, bro. Yeah, that's it. Where we have literally unlearned spendings on our jobs. We we're, we're told like, like fucking. If you need it, if you just want it, go buy it. And it's like, we make a list like once a week, once a fortnight of Bunnings shit. Yep. And it's like, you need fucking new safeties, new gloves, fucking whatever, fucking paint, fucking anything, cunt. Just go buy it. Yep. There's no one to tell you no. It's like, I'm, it blows my mind, bro. Yeah, that's it. We have, we'll have a fucking rack of copper fittings that we, say we get to a fucking supermarket, we have a fucking six to nine month project. We'll just set up an area like like a fucking massive shelf, pallet rack in, whatever we got to do. Yep. Grab 100, fucking 200 containers or crates, and then we'll have $10,000 worth of copper fittings at all yep. time. At all time. Yep. And if they start to go down, put more in. And I, 
exactly like I'm just thinking to myself like this is the this is what the future is bro yeah. this is if I want to have my own business I ain't big yep <laughs> yeah yeah he's constant it fucking blows my mind tell you what I want to do this thing with you it's called deep questions you ever seen me do it before or have you ever done it before no no it's a fucking sick app hopefully it's they always fucking change it so let me just find it I know you've, I've seen you do it on the cast before so I fucking you know, yeah, we'll yeah. See, fuck, what we get spun up. Like. Yeah. Well, it's I love it, Barry, because it's like it's just like the conversation would have never led to these questions. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what I like about it. It's just a disposal of mine. So I'll I'll do a couple and then I'll skip a couple shit ones. And then if everyone listening, you would have never known the fuck. I skip some time out. But would you rather die in twenty years with no regrets or die in fifty years with heaps of regrets? Yeah, twenty years. I've 20. always yeah yeah I've always said like with my missus as well. I'm like, if I hit fifty. And I say grandkids, I'm sweet to go from there. Oh, I said, yeah. I don't want to get fucking old and fragile and fucking be a shit cunt. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, if I live to see the grandkids fucking thing and, you know, enjoy my life, I'm mm. fucking happy. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, I guess it's a pretty obvious answer because when you think of regrets, I think to myself, like, I have no regrets. Do you, yeah. have, do you have regrets? Right. I've fucked up everything. I've yeah. fucking written myself off. I've let people down. I've fucking been a dog to people. But it's like... How bad do I need to fuck up to regret it? Like, yeah. honestly, what yep. do I do? Kill someone? Like, yeah. just hide the body, like, straight up. That's it. Even if I go to jail, I'd probably learn from it. I wouldn't regret yeah, it. That's it. You just got to take fucking everything, like, on board and learn from it. So it's not a fucking, you know, not really a regret. It's just, you know, the next stage in your life of what you're going to do from that fucking mistake you made. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Like, you know, you go and fucking ride a car off. You're like, well, fuck. What did I do? Okay, well, I was being a dumb cunt and fucking... I held the fucking clutch too long. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, fuck Back it. off a little yeah. bit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So then you're just like, you know, fucking from there, you're just like, okay, well, I won't do that next time. Yeah. So you're just like, you know, you learn from your shit. Yeah. I, I, t- I say, like, you don't you don't win and lose, you win and learn. That's like it. When I take the L, I just take the lesson. I don't yep. fucking take the loss. Yeah. Because I didn't lose. That's I just, it. I'm, gonna fucking be- I'm actually going to become better off for it. Yep. Yeah. So I hear. I, at first, I was thinking 50 years is longer, but what you said makes sense. That's it. Well, I'm fucking 27, so that's half my life already, and I've fucking lived a good one so far. Yeah. All right, what about this one? What if life, what if life is a dream? What if you find out right now that what you're living right now is just a dream? Would you would you do anything differently? I don't think so. Either. Yeah, pretty comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, like I said, we got the house, got the kids, got some toys. So. Yeah, true. What more do you want? You have family. <laughs> That's you it. Have family. That's much different uh, than mine's. Like, if this is just a dream, maybe I should fucking stop work and focus more on fucking passion. Yep. Because I have no fucking responsibility. That's it. Because I'm fucking battling that every day. As yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. It's like, you know, I have, like, the responsibilities now, so I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm always living this. Mm. But, like, yeah, if I was single and did whatever, I'm like, okay, fuck, maybe I should have worked more and start so I could go travelling by myself more and do whatever, but that's, like, not my life anyway. So yeah. I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at, so. yeah. Do you think of it as if, like, because I hear these words like responsibility and I think of it as an obligation, which obligation to me is a bit of a negative word. But when you have your f- responsibility of having a family, is it like that's what you want? Is it yeah, more yeah, of a yeah. want? Yeah, yeah a that's need? what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, it's what you know is right. It's yeah. like your responsibility. Like, you're responsible for your kids' like well being. Yeah. So, you know, let's just say fucking you're in a rut and you had no money. And you only have a loaf of bread. Like, you're going to give your kids that loaf of bread before you. You're not mm. going to fucking think, because that's your responsibility to feed the kids. Yeah. So you want for them to be fed. Yeah. You fucking, you know, go hungry that day. Yeah. Because I guess if, if you, just because you have the responsibility doesn't really mean you have to do it, eh? Yeah, If you wanted it. to be the type of guy who just fucking was like, nah, fuck this, I want to go to South America, you could, I guess. The, yeah. the responsibility isn't really an obligation. It's what you want to be your obligation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I never thought about it like that. But, yeah, all right. I probably would... Uh, fuck, I want to say no. I'm pretty comfortable as well. I'm pretty comfortable. <laughs> Here's one for you. If you're being told that you're going to become famous tomorrow, all right, tomorrow you're going to become famous, but you don't know what it's for, what's the most realistic reason you can think of? <laughs> Probably a video of me doing some dumb shit, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I was going to say the same thing, bro. I'm scared of those videos, bro. Yeah. I actually don't have my birthday on Facebook because I fucking don't want them going up. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I just think fuck it, eh? Like fuck it. I want everyone to come along for the ride. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. If you're having a good time, you're having a good time, like fuck it. Like, yeah. I'm not living my life to impress anyone. Like my missus will have a whinge at me if I wear like an act troll or a re shirt out. Oh smart. She just thinks oh fucking that. why are you wearing that? It's a free shirt, it looks cheap shit or whatever. And I'm like so I don't I care. You're nice, bro. Yeah, that's like, what I said to her. I said, I don't give a fuck. I don't yeah. care what that person thinks of me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. what does it matter if they think, oh, look at this cheap gun, he's wearing a reshirt? I was like, okay, no well, worries. I think it it doesn't it, affect my fucking life what they think. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, you know, do me. Opposite. I think, like, w- there's probably someone there who fucking probably knows of these suppliers anyway. Yeah. I've got something in common with one of these cunts that I already know. Yep. We have commonality. I don't, I don't want to wear a fucking. Gucci shirt or something like that. It's gonna cost me six six hundred bucks. Yeah. And then what? Only the fucking uptight cunts are gonna think that's cool. Yeah. I'd rather fucking kick back with the hardworking cunts, bro. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same with that. See, so, like even um the other week I rocked up to um Actral Silverwater, had a Reese shirt on, but I cut the sleeves off, so it was yeah, a fucking like, like tank top singlet. Yeah. And the cunt comes out like one of the big directors of fucking um Reese, fucking South Africa. was like, meet. Where'd you get that single? It's fucking brilliant. And I'm like, <laughs> like, I cut it myself, mate. He's like, that's fucking awesome, mate. He's like, let me grab you a straw hat. <laughs> so he goes, yeah, get the fucking straw hat for me. And he's like, fucking love the single. Yeah, loves He's the like, fuck yeah, cunt, that's <laughs> mad. Go with it. Yeah, I, did, I've, I probably got, no lie, probably 10. I, I keep them clean, bro. I don't, yep. even, I don't even like getting a bit of silicon on these. This is my going out shit. Yeah, that's I don't it. wear this to work. And then I got, like, the ones that I cut up into singlets. I got 10 more fucking singlets yep. fucking... I'm, like, like literally the exact same, mate. Like, at home, I've got a shelf that's just for, like, Reese and Actual shirts. Yeah. There's still three brand new shirts in the bags. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's still on the bottom. So yeah. when the other ones start getting a bit tatty or whatever, I'm like, yeah, I'll fucking open up a new one. <laughs> yeah. Then when I go to Reese next, oh, yeah, I'll get another fucking five shirts. <laughs> yeah. Stock up again. Fucking, bro, it's, it's better than any other shirts I own. That's it. If it's not a plain shirt, I like wearing a fucking supply shirt. Yep. Because you have something in common with guns. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. more or less like, yeah, if you're wearing like a Gucci sh- shirt or whatever, that's fucking $100. You're like, fuck, I don't want to do anything in that shirt. You don't yeah. want to get it dirty. You don't want to get a stain on it. Whereas yeah. you've got a reshirt on, you get stained and dirty the fucking shit out. You're like, okay, I'll throw it out and pick up another one. <laughs> fucking come out race next. Yeah. And i got mates that wear the fucking drip, bro. Like, they got all the fucking... I don't even know the name of these things. Like, not Balenciaga, but there's like... Da Vinci, I don't know, there's other fucking names for these expensive brands. And it's like, I just see, like, these all look the same, bro. Yep. Like, what are you doing? And I also know these cunts. It's That's like, you ain't successful, yeah. boys. Yep. I know you, boys. That's it. What are you doing? Yeah, stop pretending, cunt. <laughs> yeah. That's it, like, you know, fucking, like this, Nordic top or whatever, like, fucking cunts are charging, like, 80 bucks for a fucking shirt. I'm just like, I can't fucking do that. So I wait for fucking, like, a DFL or something. Yeah. Two for one, so I'm like, okay, 40 bucks, that's all right. I'll yeah. wear that when I'm going out or whatever. Yeah. Other times, yeah, fucking reshirt, fucking I can't. Bro, have you been to, like, Glue, like, in the last couple months and seen how expensive shit is? No, I don't even bother, right? Bro, I went to, like, I was like, I might get a sweater off a winner. I might get a nice one, like a fucking Lacoste or a Ralph Lauren or something. Bro, they're, like, 380 bucks for a fucking yeah. sweater. Yep. Or a bomber. I was like, oh, I might get a fucking Ralph Lauren bomber. 980 bucks. Yep. I'm like, bro, fuck that. I bought a $100 one from Nike. No, yep. I'm not fucking doing that That's anymore. It. It's fucking ridiculous. Even shorts, bro. Shorts are like 140 bucks. Yep. That's it. I remember like, I was looking at like a Henley's pair of shorts. He's just like fucking... Ninety dollars for a pair of shorts. You go to Kmart, you get the exact same shorts. I just don't have that little Henley's fucking patch yeah. on it. Same yeah. thing for ten bucks. It, this doesn't make sense, eh? Yeah. They can't sit still buying it, bro, and it's gonna go up more. Yep. Oh. Fuck. I fucking when we went to Queensland, um, went to the Tommy Hilfiger fucking factory outlet fucking place. Yeah. Six hundred dollar fucking puffer jacket I got. Oh well. For fucking sixty dollars. What? So I was like, fuck. Oh, of course I'll buy this cunt. Course, and then yeah, I was like, yeah. fucking if I don't want it, I'll sell it yeah. and fucking double my money at yeah. least. So I get it home. I'm like, fuck. It is too big. I look like a fucking marshmallow in it. But I'm like, fuck it. It's a bit of drip. So it's alright. <laughs> yeah, sixty yeah. bucks. Can't complain. Yeah. See, that's worth it, bro. Yeah. Shoes now. Fuck. I think I bought the last pair of shoes. I bought with these fucking ASICs. ASICs are the best shoes. They're a bit more money, but they're, like, comfy as fuck. I wear yep. ASICs now. But then before that, I think I bought some fucking Nikes. I was too fucking 80. I'm never buying a pair of Nikes. Yeah, again, can't. Never. That's never. It's so, like I bought, like, <clears throat> same thing, I like, fucking... I'll, I wear Vans. Yeah. All the time, like, 
That's my driving shoe. Yeah. I can't, like, I've fucking had, like, TNs and shit like that. I can't drive in them just because yeah. they're just too big, too, like, fucking bulky on your foot. Can't feel the pedals as much. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but fucking, like, you know, I've got a pair of TNs at home and I'm, like, I never fucking wear them. Mm-hmm. It's only if, like, I'm wearing them out somewhere and they fit the fucking outfit. So, I'm, like, you know, I'll wear them, but... Exactly, yeah. like I'm like fucking two hundred and ninety dollars on that pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah. I'm like for what? Yeah, for what? I'm like fucking never come and look at this fucking lad gun. And I'm just like you know, it's not even a thing anymore. Right? Yeah, that's it. It used to be all right when we were fucking yeah. younger, especially in tape days. Like that's, yeah. that was the drip. Yeah. Now you're just a fucking gay gun. That's anyway. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I hear. I'm the same. Would you rather have the mind of a thirty year old in the body of a thirty year old for the rest of your life? Wait, would you rather have the mind of a 30-year-old or the body of a 30-year-old for the rest of your life? Mm. Fuck. Probably go with the body, to be honest. I'd go body, yeah. 100%. percent i will go body. Yep. It's, it's not a hard one for me because I want to... F- knowledge is fucking hectic. Yeah. Imagine... I watched this show, Travellers. They fucking go back in time and they overwrite someone's body from the past. Yeah. He was about to die, so they don't kill him. They, he was going to die in like one second. They just take over his body and jump out of the way or whatever. Anyway, this guy was 102. He came back to the body of a 19-year-old. That's been my goal bro, ever since yeah. I watched that. Like, sign me the fuck up. Yeah, that's if there's it. a program that, like, today, it's going to cost you fucking 100... It's going to cost you a million bucks. And then by the time you're 100, you can fucking... Even if, even if you don't live, it's yep. a gamble. You go back, I'm doing it, bro. I'm taking out a loan. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Nah, fuck. Oh, yeah, right. If any of your memories could be made into a short film and you could watch it back, what memories would you like to watch back? Fuck. I'll go, I'll go first because you've been gone first for a while. I'd like to see... I'd probably like to see... I would erase anything. Not erase, but there's no point in capturing anything on a film from the age of fucking 19 to 22 because those years were just a fucking write-off anyway. There's enough videos to fucking make up for it. There's nothing too great about that. But I wouldn't mind seeing, like, probably primary school, eh? I'd love to see myself in primary school. Yeah. Primary school was a fucking... For me, that was, like, peak of my existence, yeah. bro. <laughs> primary school was the best. Bro, I was the man, bro. I had all the mates in the world. I had fucking misses left, right, and center. I remember one day I was like, I'm going to try and date every girl in the grade, bro. And I got, like, <laughs> yeah. 50 girlfriends. It was so good. Fuck yeah. Life was so good. I remember one time I was, like, in year six... So I was already like 11. This one bird I was dating was like, oh, my fucking other friend really likes you too. And I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck, you know. You know, and then she's like, do you mind I've if got you, enough to go around. Do you mind if you go out with her too? And I was like, I already thought the other chick was hotter. So I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll date two birds so I could fucking hold two girls' hands, fucking both of us fucking kiss. And then they, ah, oh, bro, you know, my other friend, she feels left out, bro. And I about three misses once. And, oh, God, life was peaking back then. That's it. Yeah. Is there any time in your life that you think you just want to be able to watch those nostalgic memories back? Um... Yeah, probably my fucking younger days, like, before settling down, like, with having kids and the missus and everything like that. I think, like, I mean, my mates, like, we were only talking about this last night sort of thing and fucking just going through, like, we were just saying we wish we fucking had, like, our own old phones. Yeah. For, like, all the old fucking memories and shit that we did, like, the dumb shit we do, just to see everything, like, all those back again. Yeah. Like, fucking, we always think about it and then, like... You remember something that you've forgotten about, so like you fucking lose your shit for ten minutes just <laughs> yeah. thinking about like that fucking one night. Yeah. So it's like you know you get like a period of fucking you know a year or two. Yeah. Back then, so. Well, I guess yeah, probably like fucking. That for you, that's more likely because for me, I've always had from the age of fucking fifteen Snapchat memories. It's yep. always been a thing, but I guess you didn't have that from fifteen. Yeah, you know, that's that it, one yeah. came out when you were seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But then even still, like fucking, you know, I had one Snapchat fucking account back then and then yeah. fucking you know you lose that one you make another one so yeah. you never got the memories yeah. sort of thing from that either yeah so you have to go through like fucking messenger trying to find like old group chats and <laughs> yeah. shit fucking of all that yeah i do that every now and then actually <laughs> yeah, i'll fucking scroll back fucking six years and i'll find photos yep. and shit cringe but cringy yeah. shit on my fucking oh bro i had to delete once i had uh, once on facebook i had one thousand Probably 900 photos up on Facebook. And I deleted every single one. <laughs> yeah. I embraced myself from the internet. <laughs> like, this is too... Yeah. so cringy, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll with Justin Bieber fucking try hard looking. Anyway. Now, I, so you'd go, what, you reckon, like, from what age? 
would be um, the best thing to My late up. teens. Late teens. Be, yeah, yeah. Late yeah, teens. Yeah. All right. I hear. Does the anxiety get to you a lot? And if it does, what do you do? No, nah, fucking doesn't get to me at all. Like, okay, I'm okay. like full, no fucks given. Yeah. Tia, she's anxiety about everything. I like, fucking yeah. has to think about the day to plan everything out so it can hopefully go somewhere. I'm just like, yeah, fuck it, let's go out. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, no, we need to get the bottles. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it, we'll go buy something while we're out. <laughs> Don't stress. Yeah. But yeah, like, no, nah, it doesn't affect me at all. Yeah. Yeah, if you had have said yes, that's why I was asking with a bit of excitement because I would have been like, fuck, I, tell me, bro. I didn't yeah. know that about you. I'm the same. No. I don't think I get much. I don't think I get anxiety. I don't know if I've ever really experienced what anxiety feels like. like yeah. In, re- in regards to what some people tell me, I don't even know if I know what it feels like. Yeah, right? that's it. I was yeah. like, like, you know me, like, I don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't care what people think of me, yeah. so I'll yeah. get up and talk shit in front of anyone or fucking yeah. look like a fuckwit because <laughs> at the end of the day, their thoughts on me, it's not going to change my life. Like, yeah. they're going to go back, tell someone else, oh, we've seen this fuckwit tonight, and I don't care. It doesn't affect my life. Yeah. I'll come see you and tell you I'm a fuck with dude. Yeah. It's so, not real. That's it's literally it. not real. Yeah, so. It's like this whole thing on the internet, like cunts are fucking getting bullied and shit like that. I just think, I always think to myself, like, bro, it's not even real. Yeah. What the fuck? It's the internet, cunt. Just yeah. close your computer. That's it's it. not real. Yeah. It's cunts you don't even fucking give a fuck about. Yep. But yeah, anxiety's a weird thing, bro. Like, I, I just think... For me, anxiety is just like an excuse to not do things. People use it as a word to be like, I don't want to... And this sounds harsh, and I'm, I'm, I, if anyone listening does feel anxious, I guess I'm sorry because I'm just uneducated on it, but it's like it's, I hear it like an excuse as to why you don't do something. you got to do it. Yeah. We, I, I think I could make the excuse of like, ah, oh, I, I feel fucking overwhelmed, I feel fucking stressed out, this and that, but... All that is is creating an excuse as to why I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Is that, is that, I don't even know, is that even what anxiety is? Um, something like that sort of thing. Like, it is a bit like, yeah, like I said, Tia gets fucking anxiety sort of thing. And she stresses sometimes about, like, going out because she feels like she might have a car accident. And if she has a car accident, she dies. And oh, what's going to happen right. to the kids? Yeah, okay. So then that's in the back of her mind. So she's like, well, I'm safer at home. The kids are safer at home yeah. than going out. Yeah, that makes sense, so, actually. But that's a that's a that's a biology thing, I guess. Yeah, that's, like, that's, that's a nurturing mother. Yeah, yeah. That's probably a good thing. Anxiety is probably a good thing in some ways. Yeah, some ways, yeah, sort of thing. But then, like, again, the fallback of that is she doesn't want to go out because she feels like if we have a car accident, we all die. So then I'm like, okay, but what's the likelihood of having a car accident? Yeah. But have you ever had one before? No. Yeah. So it's unlikely we're going to have one. If we drive safe, drive to a spot where, you know, there's not going to be much traffic or trucks or whatever. Yeah. Sort of thing, so. Yeah. It sort of is what it is. Yeah, okay. I was thinking of it from a way different, more perspective. I was thinking of someone who's just fucking at home all day by themselves. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different different thing. <clears throat> all right, well, I didn't think you'd be anxious, so I answered that question. All right, what action do you or will you do best to love your children? Can't answer this one. What action? I guess that is in a sense where it's like... I'm guessing the question comes from... Because I know there's five different versions of love. Have you ever heard that? Like, you've got fucking gifts, you've got time, you've got words of affection, physical attention. Yeah. What's your uh, show of affection? Um, I don't even know. It's different sort of thing with, like, each child. Okay. Like, with Ali, because she's a baby sort of thing, I'll give her more time, attention, like, playing with her more sort of thing. But then with Skylar, like, <clears throat> I might talk with her more rather than play with her because she wants to play with fucking Barbies and whatever else and mm. I'm not into that so yeah, yeah, yeah. I sort of write that off so yeah. but you know if um I go to the shop with Tyler I'll get her a treat yeah so then you know you can get a chocolate today because you've helped me out with Ali you can get ice cream and yeah whatever cool. else so you know there's a bit of um sort of gifting there I guess yeah and then, you know so it's all different yeah it's different yeah so I guess like, it's even different again yeah. with Tia as well like yeah. you have a different as to how, oh, so it's not about what you show affection, it's how people receive affection. Yeah, as well, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes, you know, Skylar might, won't care for me fucking playing Barbies with her, but she'll want me to, <clears throat> um, I don't know, play fucking Monopoly with her or something, mm-hmm. sort of thing. So, you know, it's just, um, everyone's different. Yeah. Sort of thing. Like, it's sort of like once you have kids, you'll sort of understand and figure out what they want as well rather than, you know, what you think that they want. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. Like, you don't want to smother them. But yeah. then, you, know, you don't want to feel left out as yeah. well. Do you, ever, do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like you want to fucking hang out and they're like, fucking go away, Dad? Uh, not just yet, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, 
<laughs> if there's other kids around, then yeah, it's like, oh, no, nah, fuck off, Daddy. You know, I don't want you to. I got my friends over, sort of thing. You're like, no, 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 you know, G them up. But yeah, yeah, do you do not that? Do yeah. G her up from yeah. her friends? Yeah. That's it. That's mad. So, but no, it's pretty good. Like, yeah. you know. My mum was fucking so good for doing that. Like, as a mum, she'd, she'd fucking rip me apart, bro. Like, I remember, like, she'd drop me off at school and I'd have a friend there. Like, fuck, leave me alone, mum. Fuck, come on, my friend here. And she'd be like, fuck, make sure you wipe your bum today, bro. Yeah. She'd do that shit all the time, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You reckon you're going to do that to her or nah? Um, yeah, I'll do that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's sick. That's so good. All right. Get to know, mum. All right, it's a bit massive controversial topic, all right? Probably got to go deep into this for a little bit, but does gender matter? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you... There's two genders. There's two genders. That's it. So there is male and there's female. Yeah. So, like, if you want to fucking be a woman and you're a bloke sort of thing, like born a male and you want to be a woman, okay, that's fair enough. You can be feminine and whatever. But you're not some fucking pansexual or fucking whatever you want to fucking call it. You're a bloke that wants to be a woman, so you yeah. do that. You yeah. do you, and that's fine. Yeah. Don't go pushing everything that these days, like the LGBTQ and fucking whatever bullshit that there's a 100 genders now mm-hmm. on all our children. There's male, female, and then whatever you want to be. If you, like, our day, there was just, like, gays, yeah. lesbians and fucking homos, like, homosexuals, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So, you know, like, they were just doing them. Yeah. And if they wanted to dress more feminine or chicks dress like a bloke sort of thing, then that was that. Yeah. There wasn't like, oh, I'm a fucking pansexual. I don't feel attached to being a man, but I feel like a woman today and mm. I want to go into a woman's change room and everything like that. Like, no, go in a fucking disabled toilet. You do you there. Yeah. Sort of thing. Like, don't yeah. push it on the kids. Like, yeah. I guess because you're actually dealing with the fucking fact that it's actually coming into school curriculum and yeah. shit like that. Have you noticed anything like that? Um, yeah. Conversation yeah, there? School, the school sort of like had an email sort of thing about it and they're not bringing it in because it's not like correct. And it's that. Just, yeah, sort of thing. So, which is good because like I don't think it should be fucking taught. Like you can be taught to respect someone's wishes or whatever, but don't push their wishes to fucking what they like someone else should believe in yeah sort of thing like you know yeah if someone wants to be fucking yeah like I said a cross training, dresser, yeah cross dress yeah. or whatever you know you do you just don't put that on my fucking children yeah like, you know That's I'm not telling you answer, yeah, bro. I'm not telling you to live your life because you're a bloke you should be a bloke yeah you do you and then, you know, let kids be kids and there's yeah. fucking two genders. Yeah, that's a very mature way to say it because that's exactly how I think about the whole thing. I'm going to learn a lot more of it now because I'm going to do a podcast with a fucking a they-them person in like maybe like five, six weeks, something like that. Yep. And I'm excited for it because there's a lot of things I, just, I genuinely don't get. Like yep. I want to be informed. I don't get it. But I also have my beliefs as well and it's the same as you. It's like you're a man or a woman. That's a fact. If you want to change gender... You want to fucking be like, I want to identify as a male or a female, which is fine. But you have to also accept the fact that you were once a man or once yep. a woman. Don't try and tell me to fucking pretend. I'm happy to fucking play your game, of course. I'm happy to be like, yo, if you identify. The way I see it, it's like, say there's a guy who wants to become a girl. And they're like, yo, can you just start referring me as she? Why the fuck would I be like, no? That'd be like if like you came to me like, oh, you call me Greenie. Yeah. And I'm like, no, that's not your name. I'm going to call you Aaron. You know, yeah. It's like, it's like you're just calling someone what they prefer to be called. Yeah, that's, that's it's it. It's easy with me. Yeah. The whole they, them thing is what confuses the fuck out of me. But like, I just, and it was, what well, I was also thinking, as you mentioned, LGBTQ, it's weird how they've, they've attached themselves to gays and lesbians. Like when we were younger, that's all there was. Yeah. But how come this whole thing about self-identity has changed, has attached itself yeah. to this? Yep. Now you're fucking like homophobic. Yeah. And fucking yeah. lesbophobic and That's shit. That's what it is. Like, I don't know if it is the correct term or whatever, but pansexual is someone who is a they, them, but they don't prefer male or female. They prefer, like, the attachment to a person, so they're not or whatever. But if you like something, you like something. You shouldn't be labelling yourself a fucking pansexual because yeah. that's what you like. like. Yeah. You like what you like. It's fucking, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You don't have to be making a fucking label for it and yeah. tell everyone else, oh, no, that's fucking not correct. There's not just females and males or fucking whatever. I just... It's just know. super It's just super confusing, bro. I don't get it. Like, I, I don't want to sound... I'm going to ask these questions on that pod, but, like, the real controversial ones, like, do you think there's... 
something fucking going on that it's not right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this curious, this curious questions. But then it's like non-binary. Like, why do you have the right to fucking be none? Yeah. Like, well, how the fuck do we refer to you? But then one thing that I was from meeting these people, this they them thing was like this they them scenario was like they they identify as both the female and male traits. So they don't when they hear things like she, part of them feels like oh, but like I feel masculine. But then when they hear he. They're like, yeah, but I'm a fucking female. They, they, they're they genuinely confusing themselves. So yeah. when you say they, you're actually referring to both he and she, which I never fucking even put two yeah. or two together. It's like they, he and she. It's like, that's like, I kind of get that when I think about it like that. I'm happy to call them they. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I just don't get how it's infiltrating the system so deeply. Yeah. I have a theory, but my theory is, and sorry, I know you better say something, I'll cut you off, but like, I know that the one of the biggest fines, the third biggest fine in criminal court history has ever gone towards a company that did female, or not female, but like uh, hormone therapy for yep. kids especially and also adults to change genders. And um, the side effects were cancerous and shit like that. Like there was a lifespan of like 10 years, yep. but they were pushing this fucking thing onto all these people. And then they got a fine for $700 million dollars and then this company was like, yeah, all right, easy. They just fucking was like, yeah, all right, sweet. They didn't have to fucking foreclose buildings, fire yep. CEOs, none of that shit. They're just like, oh, ugh, whatever. So that's how much money they've got to spend on a fine. How much profit would this company be making? Yeah. Literally $100 billion, who knows? If you have that much money, how are you going to invest your money to keep making more money? You can't just start buying properties and shit like, like we would do because it's, it's nothing. It's pennies. Yeah. They would be investing in education, just the same way that fucking um, like MIT and fucking all these like science uh, universities get their money from companies investing on them because like they want to produce the next best military equipment, they want to produce the next best Apple technology or yep. Tesla shit. So these companies investing in schools and being like, "Yo, here's fifty million dollars, a hundred million dollars." And then they'd be like, oh, thank you. The next year, they can be like, do you want to start implementing some of this trans shit? And they'd be like, oh, I don't know. We don't feel too good about that. And like, oh, yeah. that's fine. We'll just take our money somewhere else. The schools are going to be back into a corner. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll add it, we'll add it. Yeah. And then I think that's just implemented so deep and they've gotten so fucking, these these schools are hooked with, they need the money. Yeah. That now they're fucking raising <clears throat> more customers. They're raising more customers for that's these it. businesses. And it's the minority that the school has to cater for as well. Because they're the ones that complain the most. Yeah. They'll fucking go protest sort of thing. And, you know, let's just say a school's got a thousand participants and there's 10 that are fucking believing in it. Then they're going to go protest and then fucking cause a big rant. So then they get a hundred other people to fucking come along and they're just like, fuck, well, we've got to implement something to keep everyone happy as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, but. But I, but I think, I think that I don't even know if protesting works. Like I think about it all the time and I think the only thing that works is money. Like if, if the minority are complaining, who gives a fuck? It's only 10, 10%. Let's just say it's 10%, yeah. which it's not even. It's 1%. But that's not going to make any difference on any financial difference ever. Like Balenciaga, think about everything they just went through with their whole fucking whacked up pedo shit. They didn't change anything. They yeah. didn't actually do anything. All the protesting, none of that shit mattered because the money didn't change. Yep. It's the same thing as how like with your phones... It all comes from cobalt mining. Every phone has to have cobalt from fucking Africa. People are slave laboring and shit like that. Everyone's talking about it, but in reality, no one's going to fucking do anything just because yeah. the minority has a problem. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that they're just, these people are just investing. They see the money in keeping these things in the schools. And that's the whole reason why it's, it's just a big fucking game of Monopoly, bro. Yeah, and yeah. These pharmaceutical companies are winning. It's the same thing with the Pfizer. The only reason that it got rolled out as a fucking vaccine is because of the amount of money they were investing into pushing this narrative, paying off fucking, um, what do you call, like the people who run the country's health organisations. Yeah, the health organisations. They were getting money from fucking Pfizer yeah. to tell all these fucking rules. Yep. So then every single country had to buy fucking all this money and Pfizer paid the biggest fine in criminal history. I think it was like $2 billion. And they just wrote it like a check. Yeah. <laughs> Good fucking... Yep. It. They're just cutting their losses, bro. That's it. Yeah. Because, yeah, you think about how many people there are in the world and you'd have to pay 
for fucking each shot they get, which you have to get fucking two minimum or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, fucking, you know, they already raked that in twice over. Yeah. Everything's just a money scheme, bro. That's it. It's the same way when I get a fucking... If I was to go do a cashier, I know I'm going to make fucking two grand. There's no parking. Fuck it. I'll park on the footpath. It's a yep. hundred bucks. I'm happy to take the loss. Yep. Because I'm going to make the fucking job. That's, That's it. the same thing these fucking pharmaceutical companies... Oh, fucking crazy. It's a deep thing. That's it. I will go into all this with a they-them person, but I think you have a pretty mature way of thinking about it. Yeah. I, I thought of getting back onto that again, um, like you were saying, like... I think now with genders, I've noticed over the years, like especially with apprentices coming in, they aren't built like we were, sort of thing. Like we were the last of a sort of a male sort of thing. Like they're all pretty Nancy, I'd call them. Yeah. Sort of thing. So they're fucking soft. They don't want to get their hands dirty. Like asked an apprentice to blow through the fucking aircon drain and he didn't want to do it. He's like, oh no, fucking that's gross. I'm like... Kind of, it's just fucking water and maybe a bit of dirt from the air. I was like, it's nothing bad. Yeah. And I was speaking with this to sort of Joey and um, we're saying like over the years how humans have developed and we're saying like, you know, this could blow up fucking way out sort of thing. But if you look at like every alien depiction sort of thing, they're small bodies, big head. Yeah. That's what's happening with us. Yeah. All our bodies are becoming one body Mm -hmm. so men aren't big bulk muscly really anymore everyone's starting to slim down be smaller our brains are probably getting bigger because we all have more information more knowledge computers are getting smarter so we're getting dumber like even tiktok and youtube are gaining information like crazy that's it so the word is is fucking you know we're going to become an alien race yeah. sort of thing. We're going to be smart enough where we don't need a body that can lift 100 kilos because we've got a machine that can lift that 100 kilos now. Yeah. Because we're fucking smart enough to do that. So, you know, your bodies evolve sort of thing. Like back in the day, early 1900s, you go to a house that was built. The doorways are a lot smaller sort mm-hmm. of thing because people were smaller back then, yeah. whereas we've evolved over the years, bigger, taller, larger, because we needed yeah. to adapt. Yeah, and even, like, if you go back further, cunts were bigger because it was, like, before agriculture and shit, it was just on foot all day running yep. around. Even if you go to, like, Africa, like, those cunts are jacked, bro. They're yep. sprinting all day, chasing food and shit. That's it. And well, I you got to go saying. hand plow a field rather than yeah. sit in a fucking tractor to do it. Yeah. So one man in a tractor and that's doing... And to shrink. Yep. And then as greed and all this shit starts to get become more obtaining, then people start to grow a bit taller because yep. they had the ability to eat more food and shit like that's that. That's yeah. yeah, I hear what you're saying. Because I think that too, especially with the fact that we're all becoming one body, I think about with that with the whole gender thing as well. If we're turning into this society that's all computerized like everyone knows about the metaverse it's going to come out the other, uh, ai is fucking taken over we're going to become a part of this fucking ready player one type society yeah and it's it's going to happen yep whether you, you spend x amount of time in there or not is up to you but it's yep. going to be another world that you enter that's it in that case you're going to have the option to choose your own gender you're going to have the option to fucking create your own avatar your body's going to be your real body is irrelevant yeah it's all going to be online and then online they're just going to have a skin yeah. is all it is, yeah. We're going to be the be... alien fucking body with a big head and then you slap what skin yeah. you want on you for the day. choose your own yeah. fucking... You playing know. Sims. Yeah, yeah it is. exactly like that. But then I know technology is going to get so advanced that everything is fucking online. Your bodies yep. are going to become robots. Like yep. You're going to download consciousness. You're going to create... You're going to create avatars inside games through programs. You're going to raise them as kids. Like this yeah. is a, this to me, this is a factual future. It might be a hundred years, but it might be a thousand years. It's going yeah. to be a future. That means at the moment we are actually just in our first stage of evolution as humans where gender don't matter yep. because it's like, we're just getting, we're just not, na- uh, mother nature's just getting us kickstarted. So it's not going to be such a drastic change by the time we all do become one with fucking in, uh, technology. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I just see it as... Part of me sees it as just part of natural evolution. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if it's a step backwards in reality or not. That That's a whole different argument, whether you think technology's backwards or forwards. Yeah. But, uh, I, I think, think the world's just getting cooked, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, we're just used yeah. to, you know, growing up, there was male, female, and, you know, you do you. Yeah. You know, you live your life, you work, yeah. fucking have a family, but, yeah, the future's going to be... You aren't a male, you aren't a female, you're a fucking a body. 
and, and you fucking choose what. You probably got fucking, you know, the ability to fucking have a baby yourself. Yeah, it's fucking... At the end of the day, just so... just crazy. And I just think, like, we're not that far from even that becoming the norm because uh, Apple's just releasing these glasses, and I've put a link in the description before, but if anyone wants to watch it, just watch it. There's, like, you put them on as you're outside interacting in the real world, and you see... You can turn on ads, you can fucking turn on GPS, you can turn on fucking social interaction. But then, what if I chose my own character and it was linked up to me and it was up on the fucking database? Anyone yep. who wears the glasses and looks at me will actually see the person I want them to see. Yep. We're fucking pretty close to the whole fucking non-binary thing mattering anyway. Yeah, that's it. And then I can just see people getting into relationships with their fucking online shit, bro. It's a fucking crazy yeah, future. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Oh, I like how we got to that from gender. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a big topic. That's it. it. It can just fucking blow up. Like, you know, you can go on it for hours sort oh. of thing and still get nowhere. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. because it's just never ending. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I just worry, like, for my kids' sake, like, what's going to be their future? Yeah. Sort of thing, like, you know, fucking, what are they going to have to deal with with fucking all this bullshit? Like... Well, it's confusing as fuck, isn't it? Like, it, it's, yep. it's kind of a racing tradition. That's what it is. It's the, And that's what's scary for some people. It's the race of religion, tradition, culture. Because, like, there's a school near here. I don't want to say what the school is, but there's... I'm, I'm going to... I can't remember the exact number, but it's, like, 250, 240 um, transgender kids yeah, right. near here. And then there's a Hills... There's a Hills fucking community Facebook page of parents of transgender and on whatever the whole thing there's 10,000 parents in this page in the hills from fucking Rouse Hill to Seven Hills yeah that's an that's an insane number that's that's like you think to yourself I've been thinking to myself for like a year and a half two years like is this even real like is yeah. this some like a unicorn thing like is there yep. even a fucking transgender out there no I can't they're everywhere bro that's it it's just everyone wants to put a label on things yeah oh well, you know so and it's just like it's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy. But I can imagine speaking as a dad, you kind of like if my kid did fucking get to an an adult age, whatever they want to do is fucking whatever they want to do. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. I wouldn't fucking let them be pushing their shit on someone else though. Yeah. Like you know, fucking if they want to, you know, if Skylar wants to be a lesbian, then that's cool. You do you. You love who you love. Whatever. Yeah. Don't go tell people you're a fucking, you know, a pot sexual and fucking, yeah. you know, be a cook cunt about it. Just yeah. you do you sort of thing, like, you know. Yeah. It's just like someone else likes whatever. Someone likes riding bikes and not driving a car. That's cool, you know. You don't go push on oh, no, fucking cars or shit. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. I like what I like. You like what you like. And then, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's, do it's you. so That's simple it. when you put it like that. Yeah. Way. yeah. Like, you know, fucking everyone just should just stick to their own lane. Yeah. And, like, you know, not worry about what they're being labelled as. Just yeah, and it's the labeling, worry about yeah. what you feel and, you know, what you're giving out. Yeah. So, I guess people just have that natural thing where they want to be part of a community, eh? People just want yeah. like-minded people around them, eh? Yep. Yeah. I get you. All right, well, I'm glad we got to that. Here's a, I love this question. Um, when was the last time you cried? Fuck, I don't even know. Probably when fucking Ali was born, to oh, be yeah, honest, yeah. I think. Yeah, that was a pretty stressful night sort of thing. Because, um, yeah, she was 21, 29 weeks sort and of thing. how many do you be pregnant for? Uh, it's usually like a 40-week oh, sort of thing. Oh, It's always so, hard um, way, bro. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was pretty stressful. Like, we went um, we like went out to lunch this one day. We were looking at shit for the house. We are going to go furniture shopping and whatever. Went out to lunch and Theo was just stressed out, saying, you know, I can't really feel her much. Me being a bloke, I was like, yeah, no, fucking, it's all right. She's probably just sleeping, doing whatever. And then, yeah, fucking, he got, like, through the um, end of lunch. He's like, oh, no, I think I want to get checked out. I was like, okay, no worries. Go get checked out. It's all good. Went to the hospital. And then they're like, oh, yeah, look, fucking, the heartbeat's really weak. Like, fucking, she's not moving around. There's something going on. We'll do more tests. So this was fucking mid-COVID, too. So I wasn't allowed in with her. Mm. Skylar had to sit in the car with her sort of thing waiting. And um, then, yeah, just fucking, they're like, um, I think it was probably like five hours after she first went in. And then I got a call and they're like, she's fucking getting the baby ripped out now. Like, oh. you got to fucking get up here. And I was like, oh, well, fuck. All right. I had to call my parents to come get Skylar so then I could go up. And then when I went up there, 
they started slowing down a little bit, like, no, nah, we got to transfer her to Nepean Hospital from Campbelltown. So I was like, okay, sweet, no worries. I jumped in my car, fucking gapped it to Nepean, got there before the fucking ambulance. <laughs> yeah. Sort of thing, I was fucking ready just to go up, and then, yeah, as soon as we got to Nepean, yeah, fucking had her mm. cut out. Mm. Sort of thing, wow, had the umbilical section. cord wrapped around her neck. Oh, wow. So, yeah, she would have been fucking dead that night if oh. um, we did nothing about it. Is that so a common just crazy. thing? Does that happen a lot? Yeah, it does happen. Wow. Yeah. So um, sometimes, like, if it's only around once or whatever, like, you can sort of massage the baby and sort of um, move them around a bit. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it was wrapped around three times Jeez. around her neck, and, yeah, she was struggling sort of thing, so that's why the heart rate was low, and mm. she was starting to sort of fucking, yeah, oh, go bro. sort of thing. So, yeah, yeah it was that's fucking, fucking stressful. I could imagine fucking crying on a day like that. That's yeah. crazy. So I think it was, yeah, it was like when I called my parents because, like, that's when it sort of hit me. Yeah. Like, you know, fucking, like, shit's going down now, like, mm-hmm. you know, then it coming out that early. Yeah. Sort of thing, so, yeah. Yeah, that's a fucking, that's, that's definitely cry worthy, 100%. I can't, I'm trying to think of the last time I cried. I don't know if it was actually that long ago. I've mentioned on here before, it was fucking, my mate, when I'm talking about my mate Luke Mount passing away, that was probably the last time. I cried, but then I did cry recently. I watched a fucking, I watched something on the internet and it fucking made me cry, bro. Yeah, I got you. I can't remember what it was, but yeah. it was like, I cry on like, I don't, I don't always cry, but I feel like I'm going to cry watching those like reuniting videos when people come back from the army. Yeah, yeah. They fucking get me. They yep. fucking get me. But there was definitely a fucking movie or something I watched and I fucking couldn't help it, bro. I fucking cried. If I remember it, I'll put a link in the description for anyone when I'm editing it back, but it's cry-worthy. You know what I cried to, like, not that long ago watching? Um, Avengers Endgame. I couldn't help yeah. it, bro. One tear fucking... God, I was fighting that cunt, bro. Because for me, that was, like, one of the best cinematic moments of my life. I waited yeah. fucking my entire life for that scene. I still can't watch the scene of fucking everyone getting together without just feeling just overwhelmed, bro. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know how I cried in fucking Spider-Man 2? When I watched fucking the three Spider-Man, bro, I had I, I, I battled it. I didn't let a tear fall, but I'll count that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guys, I've got. All right. If you could take away one feeling from your life, would you take away a feeling and what? Uh, I don't even know. I've heard this before. I, I, I reckon all feelings are important. All feelings come from a good place. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, even that's anger, it. Yeah, depression, it all comes from something important. Yeah, that's it. Like, that's just life. Like, you know, you have a different mood and mindset for anything. Yeah. So, yeah, fucking, you know, if you're angry about something, then, you know, you've got a right to be angry, so... Yeah. You shouldn't yeah. not be angry at something, you know, someone just fucking kicked your car door in. Yeah. I wouldn't want to not be angry about it because, yeah. you know, fucking, you got to spend money on that. I wouldn't yeah. be happy. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, yeah no, I don't fucking think there's like anything you can take away. Alright. Well, we'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple more. The one I just skipped it up, I can go back. Yeah, alright. Do you think technology is making us smarter? <clears throat> smarter, maybe not, but I think we're able to do more. Yeah. So, you know, you can go on a different pathway because you're able to look something up. Like, um, you know, if you're fucking on a job and a service call. You don't know what the fuck you're looking at. Mm-hmm. You can go on the phone, Google something, and someone else has already learned that so they can show you on what it is. Yeah. Like, How good know, are those cons, eh? That's like, it. I'm so, one of those people. That's it. So, yeah. like, yes, we get smarter from that, but it's not something that we had to physically learn ourselves. Like, we just yeah. cheated and yeah, yeah. got the cheat sheet to yeah. how, how to do it. So then yeah. we just know next time what to check. Yeah. Rather than, you know, you physically fucking mm, yeah, smart is learning that yourself. Right word, eh? yeah. Smart probably comes from... I wouldn't say smart, but solving. we've learnt it. Yeah. Sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I reckon it's hard because I've never lived a life without the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've always had it. And then, to be honest, I feel I feel more educated than I would if I didn't have the internet. Yeah. I'm able to fucking dive deep into theories and questioning shit and this yeah. and that. But I would probably say no. I probably, yeah, it probably doesn't make us smart. I just have more opportunity. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good answer. All right, we'll do two more. All right, here's one. I like this one. What range of income do you think people need to be happy? Um, yeah, it sort of all depends. Like, if single person sort of thing, I reckon 100K. Yeah. To live comfortably sort of thing, like single person that is. Um, so if you've got two people, then if you're both making 100, 200K fucking income. Yeah. 
So, like, I'm sort of at that now. Mm-hmm. And I'm just thinking, like, you know, we're living comfortably as is. But then, you know, my missus, if she worked full-time as well and she was getting the same, then thinking about what more you could have. Yeah. Sort of thing, so. But then the question is, like, but then what do you lose? Yeah, that's it. more. Yep. You know, it's the balance. So, that's what it is, yeah. So, um, with Ali being born, Tia had a year and a half off. Sort of thing before I said, look, fuck them, you know, things are getting tighter now. You need to think about going back to work. Mm-hmm. So then, yeah, that's when she went back part time. Whereas, like, when we were out renting and we had Skylar, she had to go back as soon as parental leave finished. So yeah. she missed out on seeing her every day for when she was growing up, being a baby, toddler, and all that. Mm-hmm. Whereas she got, you know, fucking a year and a half with Ali yeah. at home. She could, you know, be with her every day, watch her grow up, evolve, and. Mm-hmm. everything and then she was able to take Skylar to school every day walk to school pick her up yeah and sort of now so um because she works part-time it's monday wednesday friday um so she gets tuesday thursdays all day with ali and mm-hmm. can pick up drop off Skylar. yeah um and then you know monday she can drop her off but i'll pick her up yeah and then similar thing um thing so you know the kids miss out as well in that sense but then, like, oh, bro, your it, kids aren't missing out. Compared, <laughs> fuck, bro, your yeah, kids yeah. have a fucking good relationship with you guys. Yeah, that's it. But that's just what it is. Like, like everything always leads back to balance. Yeah. It's where you, where you want to be. If you want to have more in life, more like materialistic things, that is, mm-hmm. then okay, work full time, and fucking you know only have the weekends and afternoons with your kids. Yeah. Or you know sacrifice a bit. So you know we don't have twice the amount of money of what we could. But, you know, our kids get somewhat double the amount of time that they could have. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know. mm-hmm. I hear what you're saying. I think, yeah, especially having kids, the number's a bit higher than, than having kids. But I think, I think, is it hard? Sometimes people answer and they say nothing. You can be happy with nothing. Which I think for some people, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Some people just fucking want to just backpack around fucking... Europe and just fucking work in a hostel and fucking just have enough money for a coffee a day and shit like that. Yep. That makes sense to me. I'm not that type of person. I think I think a thousand bucks a week is an is is comfortable living. I think straight up. A thousand bucks a week, if you're on your own, you don't have fucking kids or a fucking partner, you can just find somewhere for fucking four fifty, five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks a week. Yeah. You got your bills, you got fucking two, three hundred bucks in bills and and you're pretty comfortable, you know, you got an extra couple hundred bucks to either save or spend. Yep. Life could be pretty fucking sweet. Like, well, yeah, that's we it. don't need more than that. Everything yep. more than that's a want. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we've come from that, like with my answer that is saying 100 k because I've got my mortgage, mm-hmm. I just did a quick calculation of what it is sort of thing. So it's $47,000 a year is what my mortgage is. Mm. So that's already half my pay sort of gone for the year. So I really have... If you know you're not fucking paying rent, or you know if you're living at your oldie's house, then yeah, fifty grand. Yeah, you can live comfortably on that and fucking do what you want. Yeah. So you know, it all, from everyone's experience, is different on yeah. what everyone else wants in life too. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can go backpacking and fucking you know live week to week and not know where you're going and hitchhike a ride. And like yeah, fuck, that's a good life, or whatever. But mm-hmm. being an adult, I guess, and having kids and whatever, then you're thinking about. You know, other things, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, you're thinking about their future, not just yours, and like what you're doing. So yeah, so yeah, like you know, like you said, everyone's gonna have a different answer. So. Yeah, yeah. I th- I've been thinking about that whole backpacking thing a lot lately. I always respect the cunts that did it. One of my mates, shout out to Josh Painter. He fucking he backpacked through South America for I think he said three or four months or something like that. Maybe five. I can't remember what he said, but. I thought to myself, like, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm that type of person. Straight yeah. up, I, I, I got too many things that like that would take a pause on so much of my life. Yep. But I think I might try and fucking work a way where I can have that stability back home. If I have anything, if I have a fucking investment property, if I have something that can fucking leave me secure when I get back, then I probably will be the type of person to just try it. Yep. Because it's a fucking it sounds like an exciting experience. You know what I mean? But being the type of fucking germophobic fucking pussy that I am, needing to have a fucking be comfortable every fucking second. Yep. Maybe I won't like it, bro. <laughs> you won't go to sleep on time reading and cunt's fucking floor. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be back home in four days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's cool. I, I like your answer. 
It all just it's all about balance in it. That's what real I think that's the real answer, balance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, it's a lot of balance and it's just what you want in life. Yeah. Sort of thing. Like, you know, someone can say, Oh no, you fucking need two hundred K to fucking be comfortable sort of thing where you're like, Oh no, well, I'm comfortable at a hundred. Yeah. Next bike's comfortable at twenty grand and fucking you know. Yeah, and some people they're not even happy with a mill, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it, so yeah. Just, right. yeah. Good answer. Good answer. All right, we'll do one more of these ones. Mm, I would ask this one. I know. I think I know what the answer is going to be. It would be, what do you want more than anything else in life? I'm guessing you're going to say kids. Yeah. It sort of depends. Like, you know, if, if I still got my kids at the end of the day, then, fuck, I would love to go live in Japan for fucking, you know, a couple months on end. Mm. I want to go fucking, like, get cars over there, go drifting every day yeah. and that sort of shit. Like, fucking, I would love cars, to do that. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's fucking, like, one of my goals to go do that. I always okay. tell my missus, like, fucking wedding and shit like let's just go elope to japan spend like fucking couple of weeks over there buy a car over mm. there and like fucking make memories with that mm-hmm. but you know typical woman <laughs> wants a big wedding and fucking yeah. whatever else just for one day when i was like fuck you know that money <laughs> put on a couple of weeks holiday yeah. sort of thing oh well, i guess it's something you could plan for uh, like it's your next wedding you know yeah I mean? that's it yeah yeah it's always that's a possibility right. yeah yeah i think that as well with my mates that are fucking saving up for weddings they're always saying the same thing, like, fuck, it's just a day. The missus yeah. wants to fucking sell That's it. Men, men are always, yeah, it's just one day. But for women, I think, yeah, they've always grown up with their sort of thought process of, you know, it's the wedding, it's a big day, yeah. fucking you want everything right and whatever. But yeah. for us, it's just, yeah, yeah fucking one day, day yeah. sign a piece of paper and get pissed. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. I think, that, I think chicks see it as, like, it's 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 the day. It's the day for the future. Yep. You know what I mean? It's it's the it's no other day matters except yep. for this day. For blokes it's like, yeah, but bro, it's just another day. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But yeah, I think to myself, like, if, if you're able to save this crazy amount of money for this fucking wedding, the next year or two years after, do something else with the same amount of money you could have saved. Imagine saving yeah. fucking twenty to fucking fifty grand on a fucking holiday con. That's fucking crazy. Bro. Yeah. That's, it. that's crazy. Fifty grand, bro. Imagine some of these. Some people spend so much money, bro. Have you seen like Lebanese weddings? Yep. They're like a two hundred and fifty thousand. Yep. <laughs> Just for one fucking day. Yeah. Joey talks about it all the time, like because yeah, you know, being Lebanese sort of thing himself, and um, sort of says like he goes to weddings. He doesn't even know the fucking person. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, my mum told me I'm going to this wedding. It's one of my cousins, apparently. Yeah. Never yeah. fucking met him before. Like, perfect <laughs> scenario. Yeah. He goes to fucking Black Tom's wedding. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I was like, I was like oh, yeah, just imagine. He's like, oh, yeah, no. But next minute, he's like, fuck, that's Black Tom. <laughs> yeah. Like, one of the boys at tapes getting fucking married and you're going to his wedding. You didn't even know the cousin that fucking he was marrying, cunt. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. So, that's yeah, crazy. fucking like, that's how just big it is and somewhat is blown that? up it is. Like, you know, yeah. Black Tom and his wife yeah. had to pay for a wedding. Yeah, and invite some random. Yeah, invite <laughs> fucking Joey there. And Black Tom didn't know Joey was going. Joey didn't know it was Black Tom's wedding and you're just like, yeah. fuck. Like, you know. <laughs> That's actually nuts. That's crazy. I've never been to a wedding that big. Have it been anything like that? No, no. I'd love to, but yeah. I'd love to. Actually, I went to something similar. Indians are very similar. Yeah. I went to an Indian birthday maybe 20 it wasn't even crazy like 23 or something yep these cunts had like i think the catering was 20, 25 grand or something the catering yeah the fucking bar was like another 11 grand yeah like, this is fucked everyone's in traditional shit i'll rock up white guy who's yeah. fucking yeah. two or three other white mates bro on the fucking back <laughs> he's just in fucking shorts and t-shirts yeah that's it <laughs> yeah yeah that was pretty cool but yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'd spend anything close to that. But I do tell my mates just spend the money, bro. Just make you miss it happy. Just spend yeah, it. whatever it. it is. Just yep. spend it. It's just money. Yeah, that's it. But it gets silly. You'll earn it again another day. When, you, when everyone's driving out in Lambos and shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. It's crazy. I'm just lucky enough. Like me and my mates, like we have all fucking somewhat decent cars. So mm. we've already got all that. But fucking yeah, we'll be dumb cunts. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. Oh well, I didn't expect to get an answer, but. I, I'll, f- I'll still find another question. Oh, I'll ask this one. I'm going to change it. The question is, what do people come to you for? Which I'll... That is part A of the question. But another question will be, what do you want people to be able to come to you for? Um, I don't know. A lot of people come to me for... Um, I'd say help, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
As in they'll need help with something and whatever. But when you say help, like what kind of help? Is there a certain category people are speaking to? Yeah, usually if it's like sort of if it's like car shit or whatever like that as well. Um, But then if they use it just to their advantage rather than, you know, if they take their time to fucking do something or whatever, but they'll just like, oh, no, like someone use me for that or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even give a fuck about helping people. I always offer my mates. Yeah. fucking help with their cars like you know if someone hasn't had their car running for a while like one of my other mates and so like yeah fuck I'll give you a hand can't like mm. spend the day we'll do whatever get the fucking thing running and be happy like that's good yeah because if someone else messaged me out of blue and like oh fucking I need this sort of thing can you do it like out of nowhere yeah kind of thing. and I'm just like oh well like fucking, you know, you haven't, yeah yeah you haven't fucking spoken to me in a year can't yeah. like you know yeah. you're just messaging me now because you want this changed yeah. or whatever like yeah oh, fucking you know get someone else to do it yeah. or, you know I'd rather someone who wants to take time out of their day and give me sort of time, mm-hmm. sort of thing, and then that's why I'll, I'll give them time rather yeah. than, you know, fucking, if you don't have a minute for me, then why should I give a minute for you? Yeah, yeah. Sort of. You know, like, <clears throat> you obviously, you know, if you messaged me and then help, I'd be like, yeah, fucking, I can't, like, because I know if I called you, you'd come help me. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thing, so that's why yeah, I'd be like, I could yeah, and I'd be like, fuck, who can I get there? Yeah, that's it. Help me out. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. it, and, you know. It's just fucking a mutual respect thing rather than just, you know, yeah. a use. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. So is that, is that, your question, that your answer when it comes to, like, what do you want people to come to you for? It just it doesn't really matter. It's just as long as you're already friend, like... You know, yeah, that's it. Like, if it's, yeah, if it's sort of, um, yeah, somewhat, yeah, mutual sort of thing rather than being used, I guess, like, or conveniencing. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I've had mates that, like, fucking... When I was younger, sort of thing, I'd be driving them around fucking everywhere because they didn't have their license or whatever. And I was their, you know, best friend at the time because it was a convenience thing. I was yeah. local to them, so then I could drive them around or whatever and fucking, you know, I was having fun at the same time, whatever. But then when I wasn't useful to them anymore, they dropped off and, you mm. know, fucking they don't give you that time Yeah. because yeah. it's not a use to them anymore. Yeah, I think I've had, I think I've had many experiences like that. Yeah. I don't know if that, I don't even know if that's a. I would think about that or two. I don't know if that's a negative thing or not. I think that's just kind of life because I always wonder if I'm doing that to anyone else as well. Yeah. Because like I also have friends that I would choose to spend more time with, and sometimes than I do other times. Am I fucking? Is that kind of that using scenario, or is it just like is that just what life is? Yeah. No. I I think it sort of it only goes if it's benefiting you more than the other person as well. Okay. Sort of thing. Like you know fucking. Like I was saying, like, you know, if I had a mate that I would be driving around everywhere and then once I get their license and never see the gun again because they're driving themselves, so they're not giving me their time yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but then, like, you know, I've had cases where, you know, i got a mate um, who I would drive around anywhere, but he was a photographer and shit, so fucking can't use the best car photos. So mm-hmm. he would always be like, oh, fuck, I want to do this. Fucking come out. You know, I'll take photos of your car, fucking do whatever. Mm. And, like, yeah, sweet, no worries. So he'd give me his time out of his day rather than just fucking, you know, because I don't drive him around anymore. Yeah. Fucking, he's not like, oh, yeah, whatever, cunt. He'll be like, oh, I want to try this. Come out and we'll take photos of your car. So, yeah. Something, some cunt would go pay, you know, $600 for a fucking photo shoot. Yeah. He was just doing them for fucking, you know, yeah. Payback, I guess, sort of thing, like, you know, mutual respect. That's sick. That's that's, that's the maddest thing about friendship. I always, I used to tell. I used to tell my ex, um, like, because she would be very, like, I want to have a fucking get-together. I want to get everyone together and do something, birthday, dinner, fucking go clubbing, whatever, whatever it is. And then she'd invite every every friend and then be like, why aren't some friends coming, this and that. And I'm like, well, you have your friends for certain scenarios. I have some friends that I want to fucking catch up and get a feed with. I have other friends that I want to go out in the city with. Yep. I have other friends that I want to come kick back in my house with. It's nice if everyone can kind of get together, but you have yep. to understand that people are for different things. There's, yeah, someone, yep. there's some people for the gym. There's some people for fucking holidaying. You know yep. what I mean? Everyone's got their different spot in your life. Yep. And I like I love it when it's just mutual. It just works out both ways. But to answer the question on my end, what do people come to me for? For some reason, I've noticed a lot lately, people come to me for relationship advice, and it's like, I'm not the person. Uh, yeah. you know, I, I love helping out. I love giving my my answer. Yep. 
But uh, it's not. It's usually like not people I'm really close with because we're always discussing issues anyway. Yeah. Or I mean randos. Like if I meet fucking people at fucking work or Coles or fucking on the weekend or at the gym, people are just asking me like, "Well, they're." I don't know. It's like within the first three or four encounters, they're like asking my genuine advice. But my advice is always the same. It's like, do whatever you want. <laughs> just yeah, do, yeah. if you want to do it do it yep i just think i just can't think of any better way my opinion might change when i'm married and i've got fucking like commitments and this and that but yeah i just think that's my only advice when it comes to should i be with this person should i leave them for that person like do i want to continue being in a relationship with them i just think what do you really want to do above anything else do that one yeah i don't know if that's bad advice or what but that's just yeah, that's, it. that's where my brain goes to yeah. it Thinking about that sort of thing, like if you're already questioning whether something's going to last or if you're going to think, if you're questioning it, then there's always doubt in your mind. Yeah. So, you know, you should just fucking yeah, bite the bullet with yeah. that, I guess. Yeah. I think so. I think that's the right answer, yeah. eh? That's exactly that's what I'd be doing anyway, but I'm not, I don't have all the answers. And I think that what I want people to be able to come to me for advice for would be um, maybe just like... Maybe when they're genuinely stuck on the idea, like, the, I guess this is the answer for anyone who is genuinely stuck on any idea. If you want advice, which one do you want to do more? Like, re- reality, don't worry about what's safer, don't worry about what's fucking secure and all these things. Just fucking, if it's what you want to do, just fucking do it. Because it's the way I've always lived my life yeah, anyway, yep. and I'm happy. Yeah, that's it. I haven't been like, oh, it's safer if I fucking pick this career if i fucking do yeah. anything yep. it's just what the fuck do i want to do i'm not i'm not going to do it any other way yep. yeah and but i think a lot of people don't do that yeah a lot of people stay in a fucking part not a part time but like a like a comfortable like a uh, office job or factory job or this and that because it's safer it's like you're yeah. making fucking 1000 bucks you're always going to make 1000 bucks yep instead of taking the risk but if you want to take the risk just fucking do it yeah that's it so if you come to me for advice, that's gonna be the fucking answer I give you. Yeah. Always will be. Oh, I have I have I have got one final question. All right, I don't I don't want to wrap it up, but it's fucking already two o'clock. It goes pretty quickly. Yeah, here. that's it. All right. The question that I do ask everyone at the end of the episode is just in case someone needs to hear a different way of hearing the answer. And that's what would you say as a piece of advice to someone if they came to you because they were just feeling depressed, mostly because they were lost. They just they just they just don't know what to do. They're lost. Um. I think I'll just fucking I'll let them somewhat know that, you know, there's always going to be people around to support you. So I'm always only a phone call or a text away and anything you need to know or want to know or want to figure out and fucking ask, then I'm always there for fucking, you know, support sort of thing. Like fucking, you know, I have a mate's hat will do the exact same for me and anyone else sort of thing. So, yeah, I think it's just um, knowing that there's like support around you. So, you know anyone's only a fucking message away sort of thing like don't feel like you're alone in this world because fucking you know a problem today isn't a problem tomorrow yeah sort of thing like you know life's always changing so you know nothing is ever fucking you know the same sort of thing you know you evolve you grow up you learn something else so you know you feel shit that your missus left you today but fucking a month two months down the track you might find someone better someone who supports you more and you know has better goals and drives you to be a better person as well so mm-hmm. you know fucking yeah, yeah I think the, problem, the problem today isn't a problem tomorrow that's a fucking good quote actually that's I'm it i'm gonna put that one down on my phone my yeah. quotes fucking thing that's it yeah i like that bro it's fucking it's i love catching up with you i fucking do Thank we've got to get the boys together and we say this but like when do you reckon's a good time to fucking get the tape boys together and do something for dinner whenever i think we just need to fucking get a message going again yeah just fucking have everyone pick a date that's what we did last time we just said pick a date time and we'll just do it yeah yeah so i reckon you know know, probably fucking a fortnight or so away yeah yeah send a message out today and fucking yeah say what you want for some reason i the last time we all met up i didn't even have a a vehicle did i did i catch a train or something um someone picked me up and then i fucking I fucking, you caught a train home. I caught a train home. Yeah, yeah. we're at Liverpool. Why didn't I have a fucking vehicle? That's so fried. You got dropped off. I think you were out. Yeah. Oh, anyway, whatever it was. I think it was, it was, oh, I think it was when you left. Um, first left. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because that was like fucking bit over six months ago. Yeah, well, fuck, it's been that long. That's fucked. That's it. Yeah. I think you're going to actually get a lift in with Jordan. Yeah. But Jordan fucking... Pulled uh, out. No, no, he didn't pull out. He came late. 
Oh, yeah. Remember, he fucking got caught up at work or something. Yeah, and yeah, fucking, yeah. He rocked up in his work car and shit. Yeah. And yeah, fuck Yeah, it. that's crazy. Yeah, but like, um, I want to get like a fucking routine of getting the boys on. I want to get Joey on real soon. Yep. I want to get Joey on the pod. I really appreciate you for giving me your time, bro. No, fuck Every no. episode's a good episode for me. I love that's every it. one of them. Yeah. It's good There's to always up. like the different groups as well. Like, you know, someone's down a different career path or journey in life compared to someone else. Like, you know, some of the other mates are the boxers and shit like that and you speak yeah. to them, but... I don't go fucking hitting gyms and shit. Like, I've got a little home gym at home <laughs> or whatever, but, yeah. you know, I'm not some fucking ripped gun. I'm just, you know, <laughs> me doing me. Bro, no, but you're also killing it. You're fucking 30 kilos down. That's it. And, like, it's, it's you have a fucking mad story. You're fucking, you've set yourself up in a light that I think everyone, my age anyway, it wants to be at pretty soon. Yep. I think some of us are way more further, further than others, like myself. I've got a bit to go, but yeah. I'll get there. <laughs> it's just everyone's path, man, you know. You yeah. know, you do you and fucking live your life. That's it. Yeah. Oh, bro, thank you again for coming on. It's no been drama, thank you. It's been beautiful. And we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Trying to catch a vibe, I ain't had to put it on. Bought it too skidded, yeah, we headed for the sun. Shot it, y'all ain't high, I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I'm a stun. Oh.